Hey. Hey. Hello, everybody. It's, How's everyone it's doing? Timmy and Sam, your favorites. <laughs> it's the Timmy and Sam show. The hey, new newsboys. Sam boys with Timmy. <laughs> yeah, you remember how uh, uh, in Marvel they were like, at some point they were like, the new Fantastic Four, and it's Wolverine and Hulk. And Ghost that's Rider, right. and uh, <laughs> God, it was another yeah. one. That's, it was that's like, what we're... Yeah, this is exactly this. Most. Yeah, this is like when they replaced the thing with the Hulk. Yeah, they're like, who can we get to replace the thing? Oh yeah, the other character that's like exactly the thing, but he's not made of rock. But he's green. Yeah. Who can we get to re replace Mister Fantastic? The genius. Punisher is the fourth one. That's no. Crazy. There's been a few different. It, the original. Oh, Spider Man. Stuff. Was it Spider Man? I think it was so Spider Man. He would have been the Reed Richards replacement because uh, Spider-Man's a genius too. So okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say okay. it's funny that they're like, we need we need a genius. What about Wolverine? <laughs> That's not. But anyways, yes. Welcome back to Comic Boys. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, here's Trevor. I took my daughter to a real comic book store. We don't have one in my town, but we went to one in Brookings, South Dakota, and so she was able to experience for the Give first me a time second. ever. Uh, sorry, chat, for the framing's weird. Uh, framing's weird? There's Trevor's Yeah, face. well, you know. What's up? Hi, Trevor. But All this first... comic talk ends now. Yeah, it's time to be cool. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, because there's nothing cooler than someone who thinks you have to be cool. Anyways, uh, so she had to see, like, she saw for the first time in real life, the, like, dudes who are real obsessed with comics, you know? Like, there are dudes in the comic shop with lists and like piles and he's like okay i'm still looking for these three stores from the 70s it's like she's like what and then the guy's like i'll go check the back room you know and i left i'm like what do you think about those guys she's like wow I'm like yeah it can get a lot worse just remember <laughs> it could be so much worse yeah your how's dad everyone could, doing your dad could be a lot worse <laughs> that's you know what if that's the all the negative your kid ever gets that's great you know I never hated my dad. I just understood that it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How's everybody doing in chat? I feel like Trev I haven't been here in a month, but it's only been two weeks. Trevor's come on, coming on the show like a professional wrestler. What do you mean? With the, with the wet hair. Yeah. You ever oh, notice yeah. that professional wrestlers always have wet hair? No. Well, you kind of have yeah, a wet hair, buddy. They always, they always have uh, a kind of wet... <laughs> Oh, I, I, like surf uh, I went watching. surfing for too long today. Oh, nice. Oh, really? I just saw so. somebody have uh, posted on Twitter. I guess it's been about 10 years since they killed Bin Laden this weekend, right? And uh, I Probably saw... more like 20, but go ahead. Bin Laden? Not not Hussein. They killed him in 2002. Oh, oh you mean in, in Trevor time. I mean yeah. in like what the news has given us. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. In fake reality sheep time, it's been about 10 years. And so somebody posted on Twitter a, a video of, like, there was a wrestling, you know, thing going on when it happened. And so it's John Cena, like, announcing to the crowd that Bin Laden's been killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. And everyone's like, yeah! <laughs> I tell you one thing. I, I, Bin Laden died at the right time because uh, he would have been so canceled. Like, if he had lived <laughs> longer than that, they would have canceled I his act so fast. I think they did cancel him, just in, yeah, in they, the mean, military's that, way of canceling people. You can't get more canceled than by yeah. someone who will soon be portrayed by Chris Pratt shooting you I, in the fucking head. Right? I think that's what they say now. They go, they go. We need to cancel him with extreme prejudice. <laughs> I believe he was the longest living uh, kidney dialysis patient. Really. I, b wow. I believe, like, yeah, he managed to be on kidney dialysis in that shitty little house for 20 years. It's pretty incredible. No, no, I bet there's another. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, man, he was an alien. The, uh, right. There's this other guy. I bet. I bet. Uh, did you, uh, do you see all the alien shit that's coming out this week? Oh, is there more alien shit? Oh, yeah. Harry no, Reid, Senator Harry Reid from Nevada. 
No, I didn't hear about it. I listened to Newsboys last night. <laughs> did we not talk about it? I don't think so. Did you? Oh no, I was I was in it. There's, no there's no Newsboys last Newsboys, night. There was flagship. Totally. Oh, different. flagship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Completely flagship. different show. So was it you and Ocon's the whole time, or what? Yeah, oh. it was. Uh, and my God, I'm. T- I got to be honest. I'm tired because I was just getting. I, I just had to field so many uh, calls, like afterwards, just congratulatory calls. <laughs> Uh, like everybody was like checking in, just being like, you know, inc- I mean, notable people too. Just, uh, just curious know. though, uh, uh, was, was Timmy making clam chowder on the flagship? Cause the alert said that Timmy was making clam chowder on the flagship. Yeah. I don't know how to do a, a alerts yet. I, I'll learn that. But, uh, Welcome back to <laughs> Grandpa's on the internet. You figured out the title. And it's literally the next box is the go live notification. But Sam, I don't. I didn't your figure question, out the title. I think Elephant figured out the title. Sam, to oh, answer your question, else. okay. Sam, to answer your question, was Timmy making clam chowder on the flagship? You goddamn right he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the flagship show, Zucchini Boys. <laughs> yeah, I uh, the the CEO of Twitch called me last night. Oh really? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, after that, he just saw the show. I mean, it was really sweet. You could tell he was like really nervous to talk to me. But like, what's his name? Was, uh, uh, Johnny uh, Twitcherson, That's and uh, I think so. And <laughs> no. uh, yeah, Twitch is like a mom and pop business. It's him and his wife, him and the Mrs. Him and Mrs. Twitcherson. They run the whole thing. The old Twitcherson's I mean, video game shop with a P E. But uh, so it's, it's, real it's an a- Amazon. This is an Amazon <laughs> venture here that we're on. But okay. Yeah. So Jeff Bezos called you from his <laughs> yacht right, made of baby skulls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see how you can make that mistake. Yeah. He was like, uh, he was like, I, I. He was very nervous. He was like, I just wanted to take a break from oiling my head to uh, <laughs> to say what a great uh, what a great show it was. So. He's just oiling his head, looking at a picture of Kevin Spacey's Lex Luthor, being like, okay. He's like, I'm a, I'm a like, very rich guy. I'm the richest man in the world. Why don't I look more evil? Yeah. I should, I should try to look as evil as possible. He's like, literally Lex Luthor. Come on, just do it, buddy. I just remember there was a, this was when we all lived in New York, there was, they built some new apartment building, like huge complex, it was apartments and nice like suites and shit you know condos and stuff right on the corner of central park like right by columbus circle and uh they showed like there was an article somewhere showing here's who's moving in and like one of the top floors was like some old german guy with a goatee he was bald and he had an eye patch and i was like why are you letting him have one (laughs) like clearly a bond villain you know it's like who is this guy that's a good move though. Like I think as you get older you should just kind of lean into like looking evil like i want to get like i want to get like a high and tight or like a like shave my head and then just right. get like a big beard and then get jacked like yeah, uh, like you need a scar over an eye you know yeah. I think it'd be rad. Do, you know, do you know what I was thinking about today? Do What's people that? ever do people ever like shave like the front part of like not not like oh but but like say see I've got like a widow's peak. Would I look so insane <laughs> if I just shaved this much of my hair off? So if I just, just like squared square it, up here? yeah. If I just squared it, like I think you should only much. keep that part. I think you should shave everything but that part. Everything. That's what that. babies look like. My daughter, That's when she what, was yeah, a baby, cart- started growing her hair out right here, and so she had this and like nothing else. Which is also, it's also what cartoon babies look like. They usually that, have like yeah. one curl. My, my daughter's a cartoon and then baby. Bald. Yeah, it really hurts like, my whole argument that I'm not a cartoon person. <laughs> what was that baby's name in Roger Rabbit? Oh yeah. Um, I was gonna say Baby Huey, but that's not Baby Huey. No. Uh, uh, Sam, you should do that. You should get a baby cut for the summer. Oh yeah, it'll it'll be cool, like <laughs> temperature wise. Is a high and tight nice and breezy. High and tight is what those new Nazis were getting, right? Where it was like that's that's an undercut. That Spencer guy is that what he got? The undercut. You know? Is that what that's called? I mean, that that's like, like a, the Macklemore kind of thing where yes, you shave the yes. side of your head. Because that thing yeah. were kind of looking like babies. Some of them, if you get it too short here and the hair's like, there's, you know, if, if it's too, if you only have the longer hair in the middle, they were looking like babies, I thought a little bit. They're also sounding like babies, but that was a totally 
different thing. But shots uh, fired. <laughs> oh Timmy, man, Timmy versus <laughs> Nazis. Here yeah, we go. You know that guy that doesn't like Nazis. I get well. That it, God, Timmy. Is it, is it always, uncontroversial? Always with the Nazis. I know. Well, there was a time where it wasn't where it was controversial to not like Nazis, but I think we're back to just not liking them, right? Is that what? Uh, Nazis Wait, have what? always they're always bad guys in movies and stuff. I think people and history. Think people don't like them. And yeah. history. <laughs> I know, but you know they got acceptable for a while. <laughs> I forgot about history. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, oh, I, I always I, forget I, they're real. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. not just. Yeah, uh, Indiana that's Jones called, is the least I, favorite people. That's called white privilege, right there. Yeah, they, they exist on the yeah, same yeah. level as like the Foot Clan for me. <laughs> um, okay, who is better dressed, Hitler or Shredder? I, I want to bring something Ooh. up from last night. From last that's night, that's a good uh, one. Uh, you were you were talking about who could get away, who could come back from uh, child pornography, and your ears perked up. And I was like, ooh. No. Uh, I, I had a good suggestion. Uh, Mr. Bean. Because, oh, like, yeah. everyone would be like, oh, he probably, it, like, it happened accidentally. I get that. That's true. You know, I was thinking, but I wasn't. See, also, Mr. Magoo. He, yeah. he, I'm blind, you guys. I didn't know there's. Yeah, oh, hey, probably... Sam, what? Darren in. Darren's here. Oh, Darren's here. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking. I didn't say it because uh, um, because I I I didn't. I thought, I thought no one would get the reference because it's so old. But I was like, it's very similar. I thought Roberto Benini could come back from it <laughs> because like he just you have to be like you speak another language where they you're like yeah he made a mistake. <laughs> hey, Darren. Are you, What's up, dude? Yeah, and you oh, got to be right. a little slapsticky. Yeah. What up, Darren? Yeah. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. We're, we're talking about kitty porn, man. How are you doing? <laughs> oh man, I love kitty porn. Oh, what? kitty, oh. kitty. Oh yeah. Uh, we we're just oh, talking about bang up enough. job as usual. Just went off. Gifted a bunch of subs. It, it's nice. going crazy. Wow. What? Uh, awesome. We were just talking about who could bounce back from that, Darren, and I guess now we're about to find out. <laughs> think, you guys started off with kitty porn, huh? Well, I think Darren, <laughs> Sam started it. Uh, uh, well, no, you started, started yesterday. yesterday. I just brought it back. Uh, uh, we were talking about Matt Gates yesterday on the show. Mm. Oh, is he up to that now? If I, at first, I thought it was he was just bothering people. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, not Matt Gates. Uh, what's his name? Josh Duggar. That's who we were talking about. <laughs> Wait, is he that from that show with too many kids? Yeah, that's what the show is called. Too many kids. <laughs> now it's clear that he that was that enough show. kids for him. <laughs> yeah, not it was like. <laughs> Too many kids? And then Josh Duggar was like, I don't think so. Maybe too many kids that are mine. <laughs> uh, not a thing. He's, he's like, there's not a thing as too many kids. Um, the more the merrier. It's not to be confused with the show Too Many Wives. Which one is that? Right. There's a That's a snore, snore town show if I've ever heard one. It's that guy. The guy all those shows. They have that one that's called Too Many Little People. <laughs> just, just that. Okay. I mean, like, it depended on the mood you were in. You'd be in that and watch that. But too many kids, like, hey, hey, all right. What is what is the show that uh, that uh, uh, was too many too many wives? Yeah. Oh, Big Love. No, oh, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. real Big yeah. Love though. There's it's a DLC Sister Wives. Sister Wives. Sister Wives. Sister wives. Sister. Okay, is that what it's called? Wives. Yeah, my mom. Sister was. wives. Oh, I was man. expecting the show to be something else, and I got upset. I was like, <laughs> I gotta go back to Pornhub. <laughs> that's Have that's what I was ones? thinking. Sister wives is. <laughs> Have you seen the ones where they like get stuck? They get stuck in the bed or like the laundromat or something. <laughs> like I'm stuck. <laughs> that was the best episode of Big Love when they all got stuck. <laughs> uh, just to just so people know we're doing them, I'm gonna I'll, I'll uh, read some donos. Uh, we got official Josh Woods donated thirty five dollars and said you should raid my buddies at Record Bar Radio this evening. They're celebrating their one year anniversary this weekend. Anyways, looking forward to Mars. P.S. Trevor, DM me. I want to write a movie with you. Okay. Making, you making some Hollywood moves there for $35. There 
Somebody in chat just said my 600 pound wives. <laughs> <laughs> my 600 pound sister wives. How, how do I invest? Uh, I've heard that I've heard that the 600 pound life show is really just about flabby skin. Because like these big people lose it all, and then they have like a bunch of extra skin. Well, there used to be one where they would move them. It was like the ones that had gotten so big that they kind of like merged with the sofa that they were on or whatever, yeah. like, like skin grafted to it. And they're like, and then like the police, you get so fat that the police come and they're like, you're too fat. Like you have to go to like the hospital and we're going to have to cut it off of you or something. And then like, but then it was crazy because then sometimes the people would die in the show. They'd be like, all right, we're going to move them. And then like, you know, like one out of three of them would die. And they're like, yeah, sometimes you can't move them when they're that fat. Like, and then that was... That was like a really depressing show. Wow. It just like yeah. goes black and white still. And there's print over the front. And like, turns out they shouldn't have moved Rhonda. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's how they would do it. Because it's not like they show it. They just, at the end, they're like, she died when we moved her. You know? They they would always say, turns out. Turns out she died when we moved her. <laughs> turns out. Turns out. When you, you try and move them, they die. Frog emoji. And somebody's uh, got, we gotta, we gotta tell these fat police to cool it because like just let them sit in the sofa my god like i mean who are they bothering yeah. on that note i saw some of hoarders and i never really had watched it oh, oh that's fucking crazy that show hoarders yeah like the poop is every every single one of them has an issue with poop like being keeping their poop you know there's a hoarder that lived in my uh, old neighborhood and uh their house was a wreck and it looked like it was always going to fall down and i feel like everyone in the neighborhood was kind of hoping it would fall down because it was like an eyesore and everyone's like yeah it's gonna fall on them at some point and uh and then like i think everybody was sort of everyone would talk about it like i think they were hoping it would happen i i was uh like like when before i moved into this apartment i'm in right now i was looking at places and there's one place that was like a little bungalow which is like cool to get in la and uh you know because you're in the self-standing building and uh the, the only thing was the neighbor was like clearly a hoarder, like was like an aggressive hoarder and you could see all the shit. And I was like, ah, I don't know what's like going on over that. Like, I don't know if you want to move next door to the hoarders, you know, it's like a tinder yeah. box, yeah. like living next door to a tinder box. I, yeah. uh, before I moved from Portland back to South Dakota, we had like a rummage sale and this lady kept buying everything. She was like buying our movies and she bought one of my microwaves. So I had an old microwave I was selling. She bought that. My brother David was there. She's like, Can I live across the street? Can someone help me carry this? And he's like, Yeah. So he carried the microwave over there. And like, Was she hot? Food? No. But, uh, well, not to me. She's not hot to me. But anyway, so (laughs) maybe people are into this. Anyway, so David gets over there and he comes back like mm, mm. he's like don't sell her any more stuff she's a hoarder you know like, he's like dude she's a butterface run <laughs> uh but he said she had like way too much cat litter you know like too much cat litter and he's like she already had like two microwaves and like but that's the thing is like they can't like that's they're you know on that show they like talk they talk to the people and they're like well i'm like you know, I've dealt with a lot of trauma in my life, and this is how I get the trauma out of my body is by hoarding. It's just like, whoa, you know? I'd rather overeat any day of the week. Uh, you know? Why don't you smoke a fucking joint, weirdo? <laughs> it's Was her sister over? The country still. That's why we're all fucked up, you know? That show, you're right, though. That show should be an argument for better drugs, you know? Was, was, her, was her sister over at the house? <laughs> <laughs> Did she get stuck under the? the like, oh, house? I got I got stuck in your microwave I just bought. <laughs> That's weird. The, uh, someone, someone said, there. "Are hoarders ever hot?" Yeah, There's gotta be some. Oh, I think I mean hoarders are like the hottest. Well, you I think mean, the idea of being a hoarder is hot? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. You're saying it's like a hot disease. It's like oh. a hot... they're just they're just filthy, yeah. filthy. <laughs> You're a naughty hoarder. They're like, they're like, they're like. I want it all. I want all the microwaves. Yeah, Sparky Sin got to it. Uh, hoarders. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. oh you, you want a condom? I got a condom from 1976. A condom from 1977. What do you want? <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, I have 1,300 condoms from every year since the 80s. Oh, my God, that's really funny. <laughs> 
Yeah, no. Um, boy. Yeah, hoarders are smoke shows. Yeah. I mean, I tell you what, when I, when I think about the primo sexual fantasy, it definitely involves fuck me on my pile of my own dirty diapers. <laughs> It's the number it's like in the top five porn searches in the United States ho- hoarders <laughs> uh, what's uh, best though is the hoarders that are like because you know a lot of them are just like I know I have a problem I want to fix it but then every once in a while you get the one who's like it's the the mom and her kids called the hoarders show and they're like mom we got to get this stuff out of your yard we can't even get to the house before we clean up the yard she's like no don't touch any of it you know <laughs> just like she's like don't i'm not doing it and like she they just can't do it you know unless she gives them permission what i'm always looking for like my search is always uh big fat natural hoarders <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is the VOD title for this episode. <laughs> Early is. I look for. I look for. I do amateur busty hoarders. Amateur. I do. What's an I amateur do hoarder? Rule thirty four, Futurama <laughs> cuck hoarder. <laughs> Futurama cuck hoarder. Yeah, it's and amateur in hoarder the, is just like my one favorite room, porn right? is Futurama cuck porn. Yeah. What if the rest of the hour and a half we just started? You know, we just kept naming different porns, but putting hoarders in it. That's it. That's, That's all. how I get to eight thousand viewers. <laughs> yeah, That's pretty good. Hey, Tim, I get, I get another call time? from Bezos tonight. He was like, "I don't know how you fucking did it. You did it <laughs> twice in a row. It's amazing." Um, I, Darren, I heard that there was a dating show aspect and I heard that, uh, was there something about porn? I, I saw somebody say that they're afraid you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sam was yeah, fucked well, off the chain last week. We probably did what? get in trouble. Sam is Trevor, still on right now. I showed out blurred Futurama porn. Meanwhile, Barely. Trevor drew Garfield porn on the chain. No, that was a tail. That was a tail. It's different. Is Someone it, just asked us, why are you guys so out? horny without Zach? And I think the question is, why are we so free without Zach? <laughs> yeah, Zach's always like, don't talk about pornography. Guys, stop being horny. Stop being yeah. horny. There's a reason we wrote that Titopotamus sketch when he wasn't there. It's, 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 the rest mm. of us are just raw yeah. dogs. <laughs> hey, Kimmy, we, al- we, almost got this real girl, we almost got this girl hooked up with this guy. I heard. Yeah. It almost happened. Is yeah, we made a, a new friend. It, Her name was Allegra. I mean, it still is Allegra. She's alive. Well, wait, mean, that's yeah. a girl from two weeks ago whose name I mispronounced, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not a okay. new friend. She's there. She's still upset about that. Is she? Yeah. 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 She keeps because I about the it. reason I mispronounced it is because I actually thought it was Allegra, and I thought she told me it was something different, so I tried a different way. <laughs> she said she, she thought it was like a mean joke you were doing. Yeah. No, and I don't. She make said fun she's of not names. into these excuses. I don't make fun of names, Trevor. <laughs> Uh, no, she didn't. She didn't bring that up at all. She didn't talk at you. Talk about you at all. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darren, where, fine. I was talking you, about her. <laughs> Darren, where are you? Where are you now? Because you're like always somewhere else in the country. You're you're traveling. Yeah. I Darren's know. a regular um, Carmen San Diego. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. I'm not in my basement. I'm in somebody else's basement. Uh, Do they know? Up, upstate New York. Yeah, they, they said I could come here. <laughs> we I both said you need help at the same time. But there's like there's like nine like groups of families, but all, all adults are above me. They're just like walking on the floors, and they're all just partying. Really? Yeah. What, what, is it a part? What kind of party is it? Like birthday party. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's yeah. nice of you to, 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 to step away and hang out with us. Of yeah. course. I think we- like I, I, I like bounced uh, last uh, episode early. You did? And then the one before that, I couldn't make it. So, you know. What? Um, I just realized what? I was gone half the month in April, too. April was fucking, April was fucking crazy. Can we talk about where you went? Where I went? I went to Rhode Island. That's what we can talk about. Can we talk about anything else but that? But no. What do you want to ask about? Because I'm, I'll just, I'll just fucking stonewall you. What do you want to ask about? I, 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 why were you going to Rhode Island? To hang out with my girlfriend. People. There know. we go. That's all. No, and, no, and, dude, and, I'm pretty out. I'm pretty out about that. She was assisting me with my cooking, 
with another Rhode Islander because I did Rhode Island recipes on Zucchini Boys when I came back. So. But what yeah. did you do at nighttime? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we worked on a puzzle. Um, What's that mean? We literally worked on a puzzle. Oh. And then yeah. we worked on a puzzle. Did uh? So are you? Do you think you'll move to Rhode Island? God, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Darren, is, is that, behind you. Who's that, Darren? Darren, who's that? Is that a ghost? Was it? No. I think it's a ghost. Was it, it might be. I don't know. I think what we're gonna do, Trevor. We're just gonna. I, didn't, I just don't look. It was a woman in white. <laughs> oh, that's always really? a ghost. Yeah. Like a it sounds dress? like a ghost. A white. Yeah, I don't yeah. even look. I, don't I even think look. it was. I think it was that girl from The Ring, the one in the TV. Yeah. Oh fuck. Ring Ringu. 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 <laughs> What's her name? Susie Ringu. That amazing. Oh, isn't that the, the original, the Japanese? Yeah, Ringu. Or? That's the original. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the Japanese. Ringu. Ringu. <laughs> Ringu. Ringu, Ringu star. Ah, oh, chat's ahead of me. Trevor, no, me. we're not going to move to Rhode Island. What we'll do is we'll just move whatever is halfway between. So what's that, like Ohio or something? I was going to say, you're, gonna, you're not going to make that poor woman move to South Dakota, are you? No, she wouldn't. She'd be like, yeah. no, we got to figure something else out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she lives in Rhode Island. Oh, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, oh, Rhode, Rhode Island's great. I, I loved Rhode yeah. Island. Yeah. Well, of Rhode course Island, you did. You're, you're, you're coming from South Dakota. It's like, yeah, but it, it's, a good, it's a good state anyways. I would like it if I was in New York and visited, you know? So. Yeah. Did you go to a Mystic, Connecticut? <laughs> like, it's right on the border. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we didn't go to Connecticut. We stayed in Rhode Island. Uh, okay. Uh, I, call- I, I, I did find out that chat's going to love this. Uh I tried a food there called uh, hot. <laughs> they're called hot wieners, and but you can't. I mean, look, they're hot dogs, right? But you can't call them hot dogs. They're hot wieners. What a silly state! I know, right? <laughs> no, they're you can't great, move though. there. They're really you different. Can't. No, called dude, the, there's a lot of food there that would kill me. I, I'm going. <laughs> called the space cowboy. Said, uh, "Help, help, step bro. I'm stuck on this puzzle." <laughs> Which what? I was. I'm stuck help in step the bro. puzzle. I'm yeah. stuck. <laughs> what does that mean? It's it's the the porn. Help, Help step, step bro. bro. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Mixed with with what you were doing. Oh, it took me for a step. sec. Okay, God. Because that's what you call out first. You're like step bro, step, step bro. bro. Dude, there's Help always those porns are I'm always stuck. step bros. <laughs> the uh, so you're gonna move to you're gonna move to Ohio. Yeah. Like um, that's good. That's better. Um, I mean, if, if you move to Rhode Island, you'll be close to me. I know, man. Well, but you're moving. Are you going to England? Yeah, I know. Well, just for yeah, a little bit. He will be closer. <laughs> That's true. That is that is true. Yeah, and I mean, I'll I be think... further. Wait, and I'll be further away from Trevor. Yeah, it's true. Um, <laughs> I I think uh, I, you know you've I think you've raised your daughter like a large chunk of her of her you know life like you've given her a good start like i think you, you could like split town now no i'm not saying i would yeah. not bring her oh really <laughs> isn't she gonna be kind of like a fifth wheel though have you ever heard the saying if you love something set it free oh my god if it so. comes back to you yeah it's meant to be <laughs> <laughs> well sure but Somebody wrote, I, can we get a 30s chat what does that mean somebody wrote can we get a 30s chat can we get a oh, 30 second chat? There's something about the delay and I don't understand what it means. Oh, oh, oh. Are, are you worried at oh, all that oh. your daughter might be a little bit of a cock block if you bring her to uh No, because she has a daughter too. So they ne- they negate each other, right? Oh my god, I know, I don't know. That's... Mine can watch hers and then we just do puzzles. How old is her daughter? Like young, like two. Where did you meet? On the internet. Ooh. Where? <laughs> Trevor, no, Jesus. come on. Where no, we just spent, no. It was not any, any. It wasn't anywhere weird. But I think we're we're good now. I think we're all set okay. for questions now. All Thank right. you. Okay, all right. I don't want. Okay. No, yeah. the thing is, is, I don't care. But I don't want to get too personal. You know, somebody yeah. said in chat or on Zucchini Boys the other day. Someone said in chat, and it's. I mean, I. I you know, you gotta. You can't let anything on the internet surprise you. But I was still like, seriously. Someone go, said, "So when do we get to meet your girlfriend?" I was like, "No, no, no." <laughs> What? You're not, you're not my fucking dad. <laughs> I, I've got a question. And, yes. And it won't I mean, you guys to, will, to, but. Uh, and I we know, all have to answer, I know honestly. you've met her. I know you've, you've been to, you guys have been in the same place. Right. Are you still 100% positive she's not, she can't be catfishing you? Well, here's the deal, man. Uh, 
the the joke has been and, and is still that she is Trevor. That's been our joke because <laughs> Trevor had because we first met meshing on Instagram and Trevor had a hot girl on Instagram account, at least one that I know of. Oh yeah, because I tried to catfish you once. The interact yeah. interact me, but that was just nice to her and like normal, and so never he never he didn't get anywhere with me, right? So this yeah. girl started messaging me, and the first thing I said, I texted Trevor and said, "Hey, do you have? Uh, this is real." I asked Trevor. I asked Trevor. I said, "Hey, do you have any other catfishing accounts?" He's like, "No." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> okay, uh, Timmy, turn well, off weird, the camera someone... for a second because I, I have to talk to Trevor for a second in private. Okay. <laughs> turn off the uh -huh. camera for a second. <laughs> Listen, man, if either one of you is catfishing me at this point, I can say that you've gone very, very far in your prank. And that you I need to be mad. Have, at this point. It would be amazing. Sacrifice some other parts of your, you know, I don't know. They would make documentaries about this. Yes. If you guys, prank. if I'm still being catfished, well, then fuck it. I'm in. So, you Trevor. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy, My look away. Trevor, blink twice if you're catfishing him. <laughs> Trevor's the king. He's the king. <laughs> Nobody can beat him. Nobody can. Dude, Trevor, tell me the number of your surgeon. <laughs> I wanna, uh, I wanna, I wanna be a, I, I wanna be like one of the most like respected catfishers. Like, there's a catfisher bar where all the catfishers hang out. They're like, I think Trevor's you would say you would call it the only respected catfisher. <laughs> I think that's what the term would be. I want to be the David Blaine of catfishers and have like two hour specials that they put on NBC where I go to like, you know, the dad from Modern Family's house and uh, and, and I'm showing him his phone. He's like, have you been sexting with this girl? He goes, yeah. I was like, that's me. And he goes, what? How did you do it? You're like Harrison Harrison Ford, have you been sexting with this? Yeah, girl? dude, do you see it's that video? Me. Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get the fuck out of my house! That's a great video. Uh, have you street guys seen catfishing? That's what we'll call it. Trevor Moore street catfishing. <laughs> street catfishing. Oh, I love it. So gross. Have you seen In and of Itself? No. The Hulu thing. That? It's this really like weird like uh, it's it's a very pretentious magic show, and the whole thing culminates where everyone has to pick a card. Like going into the show, everyone picks a card that says "I am," and then says something random. Like it says, like it'll say, like "I am a leader." I am. And, and they, they recorded a bunch of these live shows and they put it up on Hulu. And the, the, at the end of the show, he goes around and he guesses. He's like, this is what, what you picked. This is what you picked. And he says, everyone who's like serious, you know, who picks something serious stands up. And it shows him going around and there's a couple like cameos. But like the, the, the I laughed so hard when he's going through and you see him turn to David Blaine in the audience and he goes brother <laughs> and david blaine shakes his hand i'm like you guys are fucking lame get a life you, magicians have i told you my story about seeing uh chris, is it chris angel yeah in, <laughs> like, he was in, in vegas yeah it's like the gothy one right yeah I, I think so but tell me again so i i think i've told it on one of these things but so uh i, I my sister is going to to go to vegas because uh, she like is going to a wedding, and then the the couple like decided they're not going to get married like a week or two before. So she had the plane tickets to go to Vegas anyway, and I was like, "Well, I'll go out and I'll meet you there." And so like I got there after she did, and she had, she had fallen for one of these things where it's like they're like, "Hey, you you buy all of these tickets to like all these shows." So she had tickets to all these shows, and so, so we're like, "All right, I guess we're going to go see." I've never really gone to see Vegas shows, but I was like, "Okay." And she had one to Chris uh, Chris Angel's Mind Freak, yes. and uh, and so you're there and we're watching him, and it, it basically like all of his tricks are that there is a trap door on the stage, like that's that's the that whole show is just it should be called Chris Angel and his trap door, and like you know it's like he'll walk over and you know where the trap door is, and then there'll be like a poop of smoke and he'll be he'll disappear. And then, like, uh, you know, he'll come up somewhere later. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching it with this guy who um, has not, you can't, there's no words for, you can't use any words to describe this guy anymore, but uh, IQ of like 60, you know, sitting beside me. 
and um, and he was by himself, and I'm sitting by him, and every time something would happen he'd be like wow and he would clap like you know and then he'd look at me and be like how do he do that and i didn't want to be like it's a trap door it's a trap it's like, <laughs> literally the same the same thing for you know the whole hour and a half um did so you turn that, to him and go sorcery <laughs> Imagine, run he has the devil Kill him him. yeah <laughs> I'll go with you. You go first. <laughs> like that's how the I think crowds really should react at a magic show. Uh, like, oh, my wife like, so to the magicians. Like, what were you expecting? What were you expecting wife? to happen? You can't be responsible with that kind of power. Oh, my wife would get so mad at me if that happened. Like, it, like got on the news. They're like. Uh, a man with IQ of 60 killed Chris Angel during a show tonight. And my wife would be like, you did what? And I was like, ah, I thought. She she'd be disappointed. I think she'd yeah. be like, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Trevor, think she'd be like, up. this is too far. I think she'd be like. Trevor, a man is dead. Do you ever think about that? <laughs> I don't know. All the time. But he was a magic man and he's gone. We're safe. <laughs> um. But the, uh, so at the end of the show, and also because all these Vegas shows, they have to like put in some stupid, uh, like moral to it. What? So yeah, they do. So he had this thing where it was like, you know, he kept saying, like he had this bullshit story. He was like, when I was a kid, I like, I was sick or something and I was depressed. And then I saw a bunny rabbit and that bunny rabbit made me want to be a magician or something like that. It was an obviously made up story, but it's a through line that they put in this whole thing. And, um, and the whole moral is you can do whatever you want. You follow your dreams. <laughs> like, and <laughs> magicians <laughs> too much. At the too end much. Of... <laughs> oh, magician. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, follow your dreams. You can do whatever. Be magic. I don't know. You guys have been out in LA for a long time now. You don't. You haven't befriended any magicians. You don't know any. Fuck no. There's, and I we, never. We look. have a big magician fan Why? in here. He's a nice, very nice guy. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, I don't. Have I told I'm you about sure. the, the the dueling magicians of Rapid City, South Dakota, that I encountered? It was a very weird night for me. No. Well, hold on. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Sorry. Let me finish, finish your story. Sorry. 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 At the end of the at the end of the night, we know it's wrapping up. I'm like, thank God. And uh, he goes over. I see Chris Angel's going back over to his fucking door. And I'm like, all right, this is it. This is, this is the big like, finale. And then he goes, uh, he goes, you can do anything you want. Like, you know, follow your dreams. The possibilities are limitless. Smoke. He disappears. Everyone goes nuts like that. And then his disembodied voice over the microphone goes, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, God. In that, uh, <laughs> in that you know with, what? With, what does with, In that, that within it of itself or whatever, uh, there's a part where he's like, I've got this brick. This brick. Someone give me an address in Manhattan. Like, and someone's like, 6th Avenue and 55th Street. And he's like, go to this at this. And he makes the brick disappear. And he's like, go to that address. And that brick will be sitting there. And no one will pay attention to it. But you'll see it and you'll know it's special. And it's like, yeah, you, you clearly have some like PA standing by listening to them go like, it's, Manhattan's not that big that you can't like beat the, the theater of people going to that address, you know? <laughs> What, uh, I, what I don't get of that, it's like, if you've got a Vegas show, right, like, and it's a popular one, you've been there for a while, you're Chris Angel, Do you, you don't need Twitter followers anymore, right? Like, what? Everyone needs them. Everyone oh, needs yeah, he's like, follows, he's man. trying to break a, he's trying to beat uh, David Blaine's record. I just don't if, buy if it. If you I feel said like at that to point, him, you don't need him, if you said that to him, he would make fun of how many Twitter followers you have. He's welcome to it. He'd be like, like said the guy funny. with 5,000 Twitter followers. Uh, people in Vegas. chat are making fun of the way that I say Vegas because I say it the way Trevor does. But I've said it. They say that Trevor infected me, but I was saying, I've been saying it that way for years. So Vegas. we're both sick Vegas. or both right. So. Vegas. Vegas. How do you say it? Las Vegas. 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 Yeah. Vegas? 
I think it's the right way to say it. Yeah, I right, you Las know, Vegas. Normally, Las you Vegas. and I are agree Vegas. and are right. We should do a whitest. Someone said whitest kids show in Vegas. Yeah, we should go do that. We never uh, did that, have we? We never performed in Vegas. So we did. We did. Uh, what, what was that meth town we performed in with Walking Molly, like the first uh, London tour? Yeah, we should Sparks. do it. Uh, Not Reno. It wasn't Reno. Sparks. Sparks. Yes. We, we hung out do in it Reno. With Andy Dick. Do you remember oh. that? Uh, remember, uh, remember there's, like a, there's a tour babysitter that comes with you, mm-hmm. or, or at least they may come with us. Yeah, but, they're, they're on like, that tour. Nicole. Yeah, they're like oh, maybe yeah. guys are like that. And then I uh, called wanted- tour managers. Right. <laughs> they made us do activities. They're like, we're going to check out a beer place today, and we're like, oh, oh, I remember that. And then I wanted to buy a handgun. Uh, like <laughs> we wanted to go to the machine gun stores. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I found a handgun in a in a pawn shop, and I was like, "How much is this handgun? This is awesome!" Like that, and they were like, "It's like one hundred forty dollars." And I was like, "Do I have to show you like ID?" And they're like, "I mean, you have to see you're eighteen, but that's it. Like there wasn't like a background thing." And I was like, "That's rad! I'm gonna I'm gonna get this gun." And then like the word got back. I didn't do it, but then the word got back to the tour manager, and she hated me like from the jump. And like, she made me, when I got back on the bus, she made me empty out everything I had, like go through my, my, <laughs> my book bag and my like suitcase just to show her that I didn't have a gun. Oh well, God. do you know why oh, she did dude. that? Cause she's good at her job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cause it was the right thing to do. <laughs> I wasn't going to make gonna sure. shoot anyone with it. How did she <laughs> hear? She just overheard you talking What's about it? it. What else were we doing on that bus? We were drinking whiskey like. Like we're we're getting bombed every night. We yeah, don't want so a insane. handgun in that situation in a confined moving vehicle. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I absolutely would have played with it when I was drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we would have heard it go off in your little coffin bed that they have on those things. <laughs> it would be terrible. I would have too. It probably had yeah. nothing. Yeah, I, mean, I probably would have grabbed it. Someone be like, "Look, I'm Trevor," and then shoot myself by accident. Timmy, did you fucking narc on me? Are you the one that told the tour lady? <laughs> no, that dude. I was getting a gun. I got to say, that's one of the few times I've never narked on anybody. <laughs> one of the few times I've never narked on anybody. It's an interesting. You guys thing. know. I used to have a. a hey, hey, I have a question. I have a he's question. So, he's how's always the, narking how, on people a little bit. Yeah. How's the how's the, the tournament doing? Oh, oh, oh well, we yeah. interesting, <laughs> man. It's in the it's in the top eight now. Let me get to the. Uh, oh, that's they call it the elite eight. The elite eight. And we got. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Well, we can look at the bracket. I can share screen with y'all and we can look at it here. Yeah. So now these are the official top. I mean, they're the top 10. The top eight. 10. Eight. Man, I'm really hoping. I never learned about a sport. Right. I just learned a little bit about a sports. I never voted. I, I never I, voted either. I don't think we're supposed to vote. Tonight's a, tonight's a fight, my, fight night. For what? Oh, For, UFC, right? Yeah, UFC. Yeah. Check that out. Oh. Oh, Here's Sam, can you enable screen sharing, please, Bubby? That's a sport. I like that sport. That is a sport. That yeah, is a sport. A real sport. No, yeah. none of this hitting things with a stick. No, or... you're talking about pugilism. You're right. Yeah, yeah just punch no, That's a funny face. sport because people, like, wait weeks, days, hours, like, at a stadium, and then, like, someone gets kicked, and then they fall down, and it's like, it's over. Yeah, awesome. sometimes it takes, like, yeah. two minutes. Ten seconds. All right, here's what we got left now. So we got uh, – Last week? So last week was they were at sixteen. All right. So here we go. We got. Uh, so we had Grapus defeated Water Balloons. Oh man. Yeah. Mountain yeah. Mountain of Chairs defeated Baked Beans, which I I don't know if that's an upset or not. Well, I mean that's, that is an upset. That's I don't, I don't know because I whoa well, Mountain I, of Chairs as a person that re, as a person that receives a lot of references from both those sketches all the time. I get a lot of Mountain of Chairs references too, so I feel like a lot of people like that and Baked Beans. So I don't know. I feel like that's a tight tight one. Mm. And the votes. Jimmy. I mean, the votes. I mean, Mountain of Chairs won by sixty-six salad? votes. I don't know. I think there's some shenanigans. If Mountain of Chairs beat Baked Beans, I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty close race, though. O- that's Opus. Not, yeah, that sounds to me like it's Biden all over again. God. Oh yeah, you believe like, that, huh? A, a fair yeah, election right. that just happened. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of votes to get late at night. <laughs> Such a fucking prick. All right. Do you remember when he was like? Do you remember when Trump was like, "We won." It. Yeah, it I don't care what they say. We won. Today. Yeah, he's still doing that. Literally today, he did. Yeah, that. true, true. 
like, what the fuck, man? Okay, take the L. Okay, Opus uh, beat uh, Rip Your Dick Off. Uh, Pussy Salad beat Hot Dog Tim. No, I'm sorry. No, that'd be crazy. Hot Dog Timmy. Hot Dog Timmy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Abe Lincoln beat Happy. I don't think it makes sense. All right, wait, what am I looking at here? Abe Lincoln beat Slow Jerk. Abe Lincoln, sorry, thank you, Sam. Abe Lincoln beat Slow Jerk. Well, during the hot dog sketch is like, you know, Pussy Salad, I think, is a better sketch, too, but it's not necessarily about better. You know, it's kind of about popular. Slow uh, Slow Jerk. And, and Abe Lincoln, that is a uh, battle of the titans. That's a that is, that is hard. But look at this though. Abe Lincoln fucking annihilated it though. It dominated. Seven fifteen yeah. to three fifty five. Yeah, Grampus I mean, Water Balloons all, was closer than that. Yeah, we would all pick Lincoln. Hey, happier with your yeah. Slow jerk is so good though. Uh, happier with your mouth open beat classroom pretty handily. That makes sense. That makes uh, sense. horses love stegosauruses beat tar toast. That okay. makes sense. It makes like sense. just because we think it's funny these past couple weeks, like right, I'm well, okay with it. But normally, I think I think I like Tartos better. Yeah. Well, but here's the no, thing: yeah. is like in this new world that we've created, we've we've you know when we started talking about horses love stegosaurus all the time, we kind of created a second reality in which horses love stegosaurus is like a memorable sketch that people like. Because like I don't think anyone remembered it until we started talking about it again. Are I certainly. Kidding? Are you kidding? Are you I'm not kidding. Awesome, like children come up to me on the street and they say like i want to shake your hand thank you for yeah. horses sources. yeah because we've created a branching timeline trevor now we're in the horses we're in the hls timeline that's this what I'm is timeline. okay oh, I, fixed dude, it. Isn't amazing. I fixed it timmy's off we i turned him off what i turned timmy off he, for saying why for saying he that horses love stegosaurus wasn't a memorable sketch Turn oh you're gonna go off Oh, you're gonna get an angry oh, dude. dude. You're, you're in trouble. Now. This is this you, was uh, this was not your you best better. move, Sam. No, he's he's still there. He's still there. Okay. <laughs> oh look! Oh, he's giving you the oh. side. That's real. Oh, no, mean. this oh this no. thick guy. Dude, this isn't good. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Wait, how do I switch to that? This is when we need Zach guy. here. This is when we need Zach here to be like, Timmy, you're so mad. <laughs> Oh my God, Timmy's, he's furious. I've never seen Timmy this mad. You're right. No, uh, anyways, Sam, I'll get you later. Uh, can I talk about horses of stegosauruses for a second? It's just, yeah. it's just, I've said it before, it's just liquid comedy. It's pound for pound. <laughs> it's just lean. There's That's no the- fat. <laughs> and, 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 and I think, what is it going against now? Horses, li- ste- horses like against cubicle box. is liquid something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like it's got to be cubicle boss because here's the other thing is like it's already beaten sexy fawn, you know. Yeah. You can't let sexy mm. fawn die in vain. Like, what's the point? And also, if yeah. you think about it, here cubicle boss is gonna the winner is gonna have to go up against Abe Lincoln, right? Abe Lincoln. So probably we know Ooh, cub- happier. happier with your mouth open. We know cubicle boss is not gonna beat Abe Lincoln. There's just it's not happening like that. And the only thing that might be able to beat Abe Lincoln. Horses love stegosauruses, so I think you got to think the okay, long but, term. So, what my my question is then: Why do we want Abe Lincoln to lose? Well, I'm just saying. Oh, you wanna, I don't. You want to fight? I don't care. See, I don't care. I I feel like you're just seriously uh, putting your hand on the scale. You know. No. <laughs> Possible. Okay. Oh, anyway, I'm just uh, mad that we never got oops. to do horses love stegosauruses <laughs> live. <laughs> For folks, dude, I don't want to have to go across the country to every Target, you know, in thirteen major horse. cities and buy fucking fake cum, whatever we need to make it every night. <laughs> like, oh god, I gotta go buy Elber's glue and flour and vinegar again. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the uh, hell you need. I gotta dude, jack like off a- horses again. <laughs> 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 All right, well, I, I, I haven't been reading right. donos. I should read donos. Uh, oh, yeah, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh no. God, what Bivers, what say? Bivers, two two one Damn says it. we can't let Trevor hurt us like sheep guys. Cubicle boss twenty twenty one. So now Bibbers Bibbers two two one is trying to put his hand on the scale. See, oh yeah, we can't let Trevor hurt us like sheep, but we can let Bibbers two two one hurt us like sheep. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. All right. Well, are you gonna ban him? Are you gonna ban him, Trevor? Okay. I timed out a couple people on Thursday. Because too many people were telling me to be careful with my new knife. And I was like, you know what? I've had it. I get it. Fucking, I started timing people out. 
a fan, Adam, uh, who works for a knife company in Portland, he made me a very nice Japanese cooking knife. And uh, like, I like, you know, I know how to not hurt myself. Everyone's like, what are you doing? It's like fucking, sometimes you got to time out people. You know, I still think we're pretty fair it's when true. it comes to that versus other channels. Other channels will just fucking ban you for sneezing. But, you know. Like a Portland nice cooking knife? Nobody. This guy maybe you no, know, it was a Japanese style cooking knife, but he works for a company out of Portland. But yeah, he uh, uh, he's like their Japanese knife making guy. It was his job, and so he made me one. It's really nice. Thank you. That as a gift. Yeah. It's you have to if, declare if, that on taxes, remember. Huh? You have to declare that on taxes. You thanks. You got they it. watch our show too. The IRS. Uh, <laughs> guys, Twerk oh, yeah, donated do, do ten dollars. Said okay. happy Saturday, boys. Fun show yeah. last night, Trevor. Congrats on the enormous success. Think we could watch Shoshan the Elegant tonight? Uh, yeah. What did you guys watch last week? Uh, we watched that dog movie. <laughs> How much of it? We we Wait, watched the, the dating the show that we made. Uh, we watched something. I forget. Um, you're trying to get people, I think we, people laid. Yeah, you're trying to get people laid. Yo, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, if you have this kind of platform, why not try and get some fucking, you know, get some people fucking. Exactly. Yeah. I get uh, it. Professor Marth donated well, $5, said, what's up? And making new fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New that's fans the... that Trevor can corrupt into voting for Horses Love Stegosaurus. <laughs> That's how, that's the only it's way we could think plan. about how to grow our fan base. That's that's the only way. <laughs> We're like, well, the show's I, not on anymore, so I guess all of our fans have to fuck each other to make new fans. <laughs> right, Wait Professor a Marth you, donated. You're two positives. I'm sorry, Sam. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Professor Marth donated uh, five dollars. Said, "What up, bro, boys? Great show yesterday, Trevor. Uh, think we can see crack, the sketch, not the drug, but maybe the drug." Uh, Blaze Crack? Okay. Blaze it like 9-11 said you guys should do Civil War reviews again to Mars love you guys Juicy Meat Sword 42 donated $11 said have you have any of you seen a black lady sketch show it's almost the opposite of WKUK black female and funny ouch, oh. ouch. the funny there is what really stinks. They didn't Actually, need to say that last part. I did hear uh, uh, some reviews uh, or some interviews with Robin uh, Robin Thede, and she was talking about how she was a fan of our show, which is very oh, cool. cool. I thought that was very I cool. I haven't seen show. that show yet, but that's not, you know, I just don't watch anything. I'm bad at stuff. So. Uh, just kidding. I watched Mortal Kombat. <laughs> how was that? And Brad. <laughs> yeah, but I've been wanting to watch that. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Can I just say Rad. that movie is insane? The movie is about like like they go, hey, we need to get together to get ready for this tournament of fighting, and then like yeah. the bad guys are like, oh, we're gonna cheat and try and kill everyone before the tournament, and then yeah. the tournament never happens. That's the plot of the movie. There's no Mortal Kombat tournament in Mortal There's Kombat. There's no actual tournament. They all just like fight before the tournament. Well, right. There's also, like, uh, and there's a, there's well, a Reveal with Scorpion. That's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. That's the other thing is why, uh, and they've been doing this. They did this in some of the old movies too, but like, why do they characterize the like faceless ninja dudes? Like, that was the best. I think the problem is just making movies out of games. It's like, you guys, it just doesn't work. Why do we still think we can make it work? Dude, you did anybody it? die? I haven't seen it yet. All right, oh, it works. You're probably. Did lots anybody of die in it? Yeah. Lots of people die. Like all the like character Mortal Kombat characters died. Oh, Darren, um, are you doubting that there were fatalities in that movie? Yeah, I was wondering yeah, no. like maybe they're building up for the sequel, which will be the tournament. Because now if they're all dead, then they can't enter the tournament. No, they they come back to life because when they die, they just go to hell, and then they like can come back though. Like Did that happened. Yeah, like they like uh. They, oh, that's they, perfect. Like that doesn't happen. It does. That's Perfect. that's the whole thing. That's how Scorpion. I don't want to give spoilers away, but like they uh, they split open this one girl's head with a buzzsaw, which is pretty rad. Like you know, yeah. There's there's good fatalities in it. That's a that's such a funny thing. Is like whenever anyone is like, oh, I'm gonna cut a body in any sort of way, in like in a movie, it's like, oh, it's still together. It's just dissected. Oh, and then like it in, slides in, apart. Yeah, in the movies where it like 
slowly slides apart and stuff. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's like, uh, it's cool to like just drink a whole bunch of like Mountain Dew and watch it. And uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew. Maryland. Right, man. That's the thing. It's like you can't, when it comes to watching movies, you can't have the same mindset for every movie. Some movies you have to say like, all right, I'm going to fucking get a bunch of Mountain Dew. I'm going to buy a large sack of Fritos. And I'm going to watch Mortal Kombat. You Guys, know? Like, oh, my God. That sounds right. amazing. Right? It's more fun to watch that than The Father. I'll give you that. Uh, is that the Anthony Hopkins has dementia movie? Yeah. I it's missed really that life so much. Yeah. The Father didn't have he, any fatalities. And it was like. What very, if he did, though? <laughs> very joke light. I mean, I guess at the end when he's like, I want my mom. I want my mom. And you're like, that's funny because he's an old man. Like, that's silly that he would want his mom. But like, you know, it's just it's very, it's too far. They're paced out too far, the jokes. Yeah. Uh, oh, by, by the way, I went, went surfing today. Guess what I did after surfing? Uh, drink dude. some, drink some Baja Blast. Yes. Go to does it taste, what does it yeah, taste like? I went to Taco Bell. There's, uh, by Sunset Beach, there's a Taco Bell that's in the gas station. So it's very easy to hit up post surfing. Convenient. So, someone just asked in chat, do you guys still talk to Zach? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Like oh. two weeks. I haven't. I haven't. I actually just... haven't. Did, well, I was wondering, like, because I took, a, I, I started a new group text just with you guys and not him, because I'm like, does he get texts in Bulgaria? I don't know. How does How does that work? Somebody huh. said, "Fuck you guys! I'm gonna go watch The Father instead of this shit." I think we, uh, I think we pissed off the Father fans, the Fatherhead, Dude. Father Nation, Dude, the Hopkins heads, the Hophead, yeah. the Hopheads are pissed. We gained, we gained like 300 viewers since uh, uh, since I jumped on. We used to have yeah. a lot of crossover with Anthony Hopkins fans. All, all the people mm -hmm. on Twitch are going around all the channels being like, "I heard they're shitting on the Father. Let's check it out." Dude, and they oh man, they're gonna get ripped couples. apart. In it's the like name that of the scene father. in the Matrix where where uh, Morpheus is fighting Neo, and they're all like, "Morpheus is fighting Neo. Neo. Come check oh. it out." That little guy. Oh. Yeah. I've got a crazy. Uh, I, I have a crazy uh, Anthony Hopkins story. Go uh, for it. Uh, you know he's kind of he's kind of a little loopy, right? Sure. Like you've yeah. seen you've seen his like Instagram videos where he's yeah like, he's like a goofy guy. Yeah, he's goofy. Yeah. Um, so I was doing a podcast a couple years ago. And one of the hosts of the podcast was telling me, I think he talks about it on the, he talks about it in the podcast. So I'm just repeating his story, but he used to work for TMZ as like one of those people that would like wait outside of the airport. And he'd be Anthony on the show. Anthony Hopkins used to work for TMZ. Oh man, yeah. Sam, you got to listen all the way, buddy. Yeah, but it's like. <laughs> he did. Oh, like, so he would go and so he would go and he would, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, interview these people. Hey, what do you think about uh, Benefer? What do you think about this? What do you, you know, all that stuff. And, um, you know, he'd be on the show sometimes and, uh, he said it like really kind of like hurt his career because, you know, like I think Charlize Theron, he was going to write something for Charlize Theron's company. And as soon as they found out that he used to work at TMZ, they were like, get out of this office, you oh. know, yeah, cause like celebrities like hate TMZ or whatever. Um, but then he was saying that he was at some sort of premiere and he was like waiting to like ask some questions and Anthony Hopkins runs up to him. And was like, I'm a huge fan of yours. Like, and evidently, TMZ is Anthony Hopkins' favorite show. And he kept, and he just kept talking about how much he loved the show. And the guy was like, he thought he was like, are you fucking with me? But like, you know, Anthony Hopkins recognized him and was like starstruck by him. So, which is just, I love that that like all these like bullshit actors and actresses like you know like say they hate TMZ, but then maybe the best actor of like all of this time <laughs> yeah. is like so into it and he's just like yeah get those celebrities Ask them yeah. do you know what makes sense about that he knows he's I, too old to get in trouble you know i i think that the the big appeal to tmz is and tmz like got popularized during a recession and i think the big appeal of it is it's people hanging out at, around cubicles and stuff and talking this like bullshit celebrity gossip and i bet you know anthony hopkins is like oh this feels nice it feels like i'm at some sort of job and <laughs> and people are just gossiping about people i know <laughs> it's like a simulation simulation of a, an office it's darren yeah. peeing cool did he Did you hear his, that uh, mic or something 
<laughs> this is uh, Darren's doing the whole naked gun scene. Uh, oh wait, I gotta read. So I got more donos. I got like a, Go a bunch it, more donos, and I I gotta get through these. Uh, Kenzeo donated. Kenzeo donated twenty dollars. Said Happy Saturday. Val Kickmer donated fifty. Said All right, I'll do it since Timmy brought it up. Fifty bones for Titipotamus. <laughs> Uh, Ringu Star, that's quick, five dollars. I'm gonna come out of your TV and write the worst songs. There were some good Ringo Star solo songs. Uh, Bang Up Job as usual donated a hundred bucks. Said, Honest question, what do Darren, Sam, and Timmy do when they're not doing this? Zach and Trevor, Trevor are hustlers, but the others are conspicuously missing from the public eye. Mm, I just get put back in my in my pod. Uh, I was just I just got off a writing job writing for a cartoon called Tig and Seek that's on HBO Max. That's right. I just got off a show um, is called Tig and Seek, and I was writing on it. What? No. Eight, eight. No, d- what? that's me. That's not you. That's me. <sighs> but no, we Fine. did it together. Fine. Darren goes around and checks out basement. I think it's pretty clear. Yeah. And I go and check out baseball. Oh, basements. basements. Yeah, you like go inspect yeah. your basement inspector. Darren's Darren, a did, you, uh, I, did you pee? I did. Sorry about that, everybody. We could oh. hear you pee. I tried to. I tr- I tried to do side of the toilet, but it was the split pee. So oh, yeah. like it went too. Oh, so man. some hit the water and then some hit the side. You know and I try to correct it. Did you ever get worried that was from like something stuck in there? When you were a kid, did you ever wonder no. if you had like a, a little pebble stuck and that's why it's splitting like that? Well, I, I would never put pebbles up there. No, I know, but I'm saying when you pee and it's split. I'm not saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a really great, I, that was a great way to I ever, <laughs> misunderstand. Did you ever worry that one of your pebbles got stuck in there? You know when you that put you all those lost pebbles a pebble? up your cock hole? Yeah. Oh. Hey, a, a kid in my school, uh, he unvented pe- a paper clip and shoved it up there. And, and then it hurt and he pulled it out. And then, like, he had to get a, a lot of fucking dick surgery. <laughs> uh, oh. See, some yeah. surgery and- stories only take 10 seconds. <laughs> um. hey, yeah, we never let him forget that. <laughs> I bet. Um, I used to always think about the piece of paper. We talked about that. Maybe I don't need to go into it, but like the worst paper cut you could imagine. Um, anyway. Yeah, I don't want to next... hear about that right now. <laughs> this next dono is pretty funny. Sonic okay. Three Tips, please donated ten dollars and said, "WTF? I thought this was Sega Sonic Stream. Talk about <laughs> Sonic already." <laughs> We need to know. Well, thanks for the donation. What level are you having problems with? We can do. We can do. You know, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a, a Nintendo Nintendo Power Game Advisor. Oh, like, <laughs> like uh, you could call, call the number. Advisor. Yeah. You'd call a number. I, I, I wanted to be one of those guys who was like, yeah, there's a power up if you just like hold down on the white block for. For uh, yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo power. Nintendo. I want to go do <laughs> like uh, that wizard, that big wizard tournament, the Nintendo Wizard tournament. Uh, one from the. Oh, video, I wanted to do video that. Video game Armageddon. Is yeah, that, that I wanted to be like one of those yeah. kids. Yeah. I like the idea of well, Sam. Like you call up and Sam's like, "Welcome to Nintendo." <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo. <Welcome to> Nintendo. <laughs> It's like, yeah, guys, power up. Yeah. last yeah. night I if was stuck say, in Mario, so I, I called, I called, I actually, I guess I called, I dialed one number wrong, I got Nintendo and not Nintendo, and I died immediately. If, if you, you say know, Nintendo, you definitely say Mario. Yeah, sometimes you take your Mario, sometimes you gotta blow on the Mario. Nintendo. Mario! Blow on I, the Nintendo. I had, I had like a, a, a real like, like, shower thoughts like wait what the fuck kind of moment where i was like we all know the trick of like blowing on the cartridge to like make the how did we figure that out like how did that information get around school other kids at school like, you, yeah, had, you had no other options where did it other work? options like if it didn't work like what else were you gonna do 
like dip it in milk like you, you blew everyone on like, it. Figured, like <laughs> figured it out like yeah <laughs> well everyone had different stuff because i would just do a real like quick blast I'd be like you know yeah that's what i would do or you I do the yeah, thing where too. you shift it back and forth in the while it's in the thing you go wiggle it yeah yeah it's funny yeah. how that stuff passed around before the internet did you ever have the power pad yeah, yeah. For track oh, and you field, did that? you did you use your hands or did you actually like do your feet? I I did my feet and then eventually I, I was like, oh, you can just do your hands. This is so much easier. Yeah, <laughs> it's like defeats the purpose. Use the fucking joy pad if that's what you're gonna do. My parents, my parents wouldn't buy me Nintendo stuff, so I would always <laughs> get it, like I'd get it at a yard sale like years later. Like so, I had like the power pad when it did. I had the power glove, which like didn't Hell fucking yeah. work at all. Like. Right. You know? they would rent nintendo oh sorry, oh, sorry. yeah we would rent the nintendo we never bought it we would rent nintendo consoles we'd rent the first original and we'd rent super nintendo to play contra 3 the alien wars which ruled oh but yeah bippers bippers 221 just quoted uh the wizard and it's such a good line where the kid goes i love the power glove it's so bad <laughs> it never worked. It was a piece of shit. Yeah. What was it supposed to do? Do you remember that though? In the wizard, the kid had the case and he opened up the case and he like took I've out the power glove it. and he was like, "Yeah, like in the commercials, they made it like Minority Report, where you're like moving Mario, like <laughs> yeah. that. but then you just put it on and you just had a control pad on your arm. That's what you were doing. Like, you, know. you could use it for duck hunt, right? Like with your finger, like." Someone know. says the uh, Power Glove uh, kid grew up to be a sex offender. I just wanted to say oh. to Sir Swish, he said, Sam, you need to sue somebody from HBO Max because you have no writing credit on IMDb for Tig and Seek. See, uh, uh, IMDb is just a website. Uh, and someone from your production has to, like, update that stuff. And we've been asking for them to update our IMDb in the production, but they just haven't yet. Uh, and so that, it is annoying, but it's, yeah, it doesn't mean anything that it's not updated. Yeah. You still like, I check it, I check it every week for my name on there, and it's, it's just, they don't care. Let's you know? get, you know what, let's get our, our, our names together. on there. there. As the whore town community, let's come together and get Darren Is listed on now? IMDb for Tig and Seek. Let's do Is, it. Oh, oh, for Tig and Seek. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, Gasfire I miss Films when, donated five tier tier one subs. Went off. Thank you. I miss when IMDb used to have comments. They made they do took they not all. Do the, that anymore? No, they took all the comments down because that was great. Because you could the be the best. Like, you'd be that like crazy shit on those. Comments. Yeah, you could go on. And you'd be like Jennifer Lawrence sucks. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> is that um is that the the comments for rachel ray's uh the way to microwave bacon like that recipe is on the food network their website and the comments for it are just hilarious because everyone's like oh, whoa wow wait so i just i take the bacon and and i put it on a paper towel and then i just wait no i i put it in the microwave and it it cooks it this is amazing it's all the comments are just all just non-stop like pages and pages of just snarky comments oh, that's great speaking yeah. of comments i got more donos Go uh on, dueling magician of rc donated ten dollars said timmy thank you for oh. not telling the story of what actually happened that night i don't know what that's <laughs> i know i started to. to tell the story that i, I had oh I had in rhode island, island. No, oh, no 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 we're not talking about rhode island no no, no. No, when Trevor Rhode was Island Chris Angel, night. what? Huh? Why don't you finish whatever you were saying? What? Am I not being cool? Oh, I was talking about the night that you romped that um, girlfriend of yours in Rhode Island. Can we cut Darren Speed? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm, no. What they're ta- they're not talking about that, Darren, because they they aren't obsessed with thinking about me fucking. You are, I guess. But, uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Damn, Damn it. <laughs> no, Trevor really? was talking about Chris Angel, and I mentioned a magician story, but I, I I didn't know at the time that Trevor wasn't done with his. So, yeah, I had a, I had a magician story. It'll happen sometime. Don't worry about it. 
Let's, let's go into it. Should we do it now? All right, or, we could, or we could continue Darren's interview show because I was I was liking that too. Or I could finish <laughs> reading these donos. All right, people let's have paid money. Several, no, no, no. Uh, hello, whitest hello. gentlemen, and good evening to you. Not to sound pervy, but do any of you have any sexy stories about sexy dreams that made you view someone different? Hey, you know what, Sam? Would this be a good uh, angle into discussing other stuff we're supposed to discuss? Uh, uh, let me just finish reading this this okay. specific donut. Also, can we watch I got Sam pregnant. relationship? Sincerely, mm -hmm. the mayor of Whoretown. Yeah, we got we got an announcement to <laughs> make. Yeah, we'll make it. What's the announcement? Uh, um, well, hold on. I want to finish Timmy with my got questions. Me pregnant. Hold on. Timmy. All right, Darren. All right. Wait, where are we? Hold on. Sam, are you done with donuts? No. Because this has become like a fucking like inception of interruptions. Because I interrupted Trevor's magician story which interrupted my story, which interrupted Sam's donations, which interrupted Darren's sex questions, which interrupted the magician's story, which interrupted this pay the uh, announcement, which interrupted Donos, which then interrupted Darren's sex questions. Okay, Darren's next let's, question. Let's just feel, let's just ride the wave. I mean, they're, they're, all the Donos are kind of long, so. I gotta go uh, take more pills. I can't handle those right now. Uh, and then we can, we'll, uh, we'll we can just email, we I can am. email everybody like whatever the surprise is. We'll just write them in an email. No, no, we we're supposed. I think we're supposed to talk about. It. But what is it? I don't uh, know what the announcement is. We got our, uh, our, our, our. Well, Sam, I guess let's do it. Our Patreon's yeah. launching. Oh. Patreon's on. We got our Patreon ready. Oh. And uh, is that we have a podcast? No, we don't have a podcast. <laughs> Darren also doesn't know what a Patreon is. <laughs> Yeah, Darren, dude, we've been doing the podcast for like two weeks. You don't remember that? Oh, you got to get him out of the basement. Uh, no, the Patreon launching, and uh, yeah, we've uh, but uh, one of the so it's one of the things. Uh, well, we're gonna talk. I, I got some stuff to show in the fan art that's part of it too, and sexy stories are gonna be happening. And I've uh, the first one is uh, is uh, almost done, and it's horrible. So. Oh, we're all gonna write pornographic stories for the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. and the first one is yeah. uh, the first one is me. Well, doesn't have to be pornographic. It, it's up to you. It just has. Well, to, it doesn't have to be, be pornographic. Sexy. It could be. I mean, a, well, it's a sexy story. I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now. The first one is pornographic. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I had to look up some terms to be like, are these still cool, or do you use different terms for this now? So. I'm gonna. Are you gonna read it right now? now? No, I'm not going to read it right now. It's a Patreon thing. It's a Patreon well, exclusive. You oh. could read the first couple, you know, like like cliffhanger it. I'll, maybe I'll read a couple descriptors from it. Okay. I'm going to write one that's a, a fantasy story about me meeting Launchpad McQuack uh, at a hotel bar in Buckhead, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh well, once Timmy answers my questions, then I will be able to write my sexy story. Oh, are you going to write it about me and my real life relationship? Well, I was trying to get some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> what if Deards is just like a really nice, tender, like relationship drama about me? I think that'd be nice. Uh, I could write. I'm going to write one about Timmy cleaning out his oven to get ready for Zucchini Boys, and he gets stuck. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> or he's he's trying to pull a zucchini out of the zucchini patch, and like his hand gets stuck in a hole. And then one goes up my butt. Uh, I'm gonna write one about like, that. Hail. that hail. I'm, gonna write, I'm gonna write that one about that uh, uh, Sam's 30th birthday. Sam's 30th birthday. Yeah, you remember? Sam's 30th birthday. That would have been in 2011. I probably wasn't there. You still remember this? No. We all went to Sam's place and we we're going to surprise him, like a surprise party. And then we were downstairs in the basement waiting. And then we heard him come in, but he didn't come downstairs. And then we heard him call for the dog. And then 
The uh... Uh, <laughs> no, that that's not what happened on my my thirtieth birthday. What happened on my thirtieth birthday is my brother tried to get a bunch of people to go to Las Vegas, and then everyone just kind of like was like, "No, let's go to Jamaica," and then he was like, "Okay, let's go to Jamaica," and then everyone was like, "We can't go to Jamaica." So what that's, happened? That's what happened. Nothing. Nothing oh. happened on my third. Nobody birthday. went to Jamaica. All no right. So uh, there's several levels for Patreon, but uh, most of them include uh, yes, a sexy story written by us every week, and uh, here's a sentence from mine. It's part of a sentence. Their taut hands moving up and down their erect members as one until they would jettison fountains of cum. Ooh. That's so fun. that's where I'm at. I'm I'm I, I went hard. And you were yeah. like, is, is I, I jettison like, still to okay be... to use? <laughs> <laughs> I want people to I mean I want people to think it's funny, but I want some people to jerk off to this. That's kind of what I was thinking, right? Yeah. You know? Oh jeez. Dear Lord. <laughs> Our, uh, Aaron, uh, listen, uh, man, people have jerked off to us, especially you, anyways. So why not like, you know, at least have some control over it? I said that I Oh, it's in your headphones. Okay, never mind. Somebody was walking by when I said that. Nolan Void 25 went off. Gifted a yeah, bunch of 2 one subs. Thank you, sir. Hey, so are we going to, like, uh, um, on the Patreon, um, are, are, uh, what else is there? Are, are we going to do Buckerson and Myers? A new yeah, season? we're working on that. We're, uh, we oh, we got to, yeah. you know, obviously we have some stuff to figure out with that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to – that's all going to – there's going to be – that's going to be there. There's there's Buckerson and Myers related uh, things and levels. Uh, I think I, I'm going to show the fan art or the art, um, which is by fans, but it's art for the Patreon um, for the different levels and everything. And yeah, there's a lot of exclusives. And Sam, are we supposed to talk about all that too? All the levels and stuff? I suppose, right? I mean, it's up. We could talk about it. Yeah, we could talk about it. All right, cool. Uh, oh, you can go see it right now? Yeah, yeah. the if you look at the chat there's there's links it's uh patreon.com slash wkuk official let's see if it's any good (laughs) yeah you know what shit when i'm doing fan art i could just like screen share that too right hey we should watch a sketch because it's been we've been on an hour and 20 minutes and we haven't watched a single is that the longest is that the longest i just i just remembered what this show is supposed to be dude that looks awesome yeah, they did a great job. Well, let's do that. Let's incredible. do. Uh, let's watch some sketches, then, and then we'll um, do fan art, and we can talk more about the Patreon and stuff. And yeah, I really do. I've I've said this before, and I'll say it again, and I don't care. I think Buckerson and Myers would be a great animated series to watch, yeah. without all the 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 game playing bullshit. Right. Want to watch that? Yeah, those. Uh, I think somebody animated uh, one in uh, the fan art this week. Yeah. Oh, also, really? There's a guy who in the in the on the message board who's uh, uh, whitest kids ended his relationship. Yeah, was that real? Because it was about horses love stegosauruses. Yes, he said he was uh, his uh, girlfriend was uh, filleting him, and um, uh, he ejaculated in her mouth, and uh, she was like, "That's a lot of cum." And then he started laughing because he just started thinking of horses love stegosauruses. And then she was like, why are you laughing? Or she was like, why are you laughing? And then, um, and then he showed her the sketch. And then he said she stopped calling him. Okay. You know what? I mean, everybody makes their own decisions, and I get that. But don't you think when you're when you you're blowing somebody and you swallow their stuff in your mouth don't isn't it kind of weird to say boy that's a lot of cum at that point isn't that weird no it's it's polite he didn't he didn't say he didn't say she swallowed it did he okay whatever but she took it in her mouth and said boy that's a lot of cum isn't that kind of a weird thing to say in that moment boy that's a lot of cum <laughs> <laughs> what is that from our jizzle oh, don't worry cum the jizzle don't worry cum i'll get you out that, that's another that's like a different sketch though that's funny no i don't think i think it's a polite thing to say yeah i think it's like a compliment she's, in, she's clearly in the wrong yeah that's what i'm saying is she says that's a lot of cum it's like i don't know it, would you what if you get self-conscious so what if you take it as like they're they're saying something's wrong with you like that's a lot of cum you know true i don't know 
I don't know, guys. <laughs> um, what sketch are we going to watch? Uh, I, I put a YouTube Fiesta link in the, the chat if you guys want to. So I'm in there. I'm right. with you. Hold me out with you. Was this one that's on? Is this one on the list? The one that's in here? Yeah. Uh, I think that was what, one from uh, the donos. Oh, successful, successful relationship. Nice. That's yeah, right. Nice, Have mate. Have we not watched this one before? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I right. think we have. Give me a second. Though. But it's really short. Yeah, I think it's a good one to watch after we've ruined someone's relationship. Oh, yeah. No, good call. Good call. Right. But what do we have? We have got Shoshan. We oh, got... yeah. Shoshan we got to watch. I started writing some. Crack. Yes, Crack. All right, T-Dog, uh, join the party. Sweet. Give me a second, though. <clears throat> oh, and Shoshan. People want to watch Shoshan. We yeah. never watched that one? I don't think so. Wow. Bingo. How you doing, Hortown? How you guys doing tonight? Hortown, how you been? Everyone good? I missed you guys all week long. Someone said, show to me that porn star. Is that that? Uh, I think I saw it. The, oh, yeah, the lady that kind of looks like me that was in a porn? Not kind of. Okay, yes. It's my sister, Tamantha. Anyways, what did you guys say about him? Uh, we were just trying. We thought it'd be funny to if we could find her, you know, whoever that actress is, and maybe she has an OnlyFans, and then maybe we could, like, request videos and have her do, like, your sketches. See, the only reason I don't like that is what if she's better than me? That's great. Then she's like, then what if she replaces me? You guys fire me and you hire Tamantha and fucking then I'm out just because I didn't fuck on film. Well, maybe All then right. you'll finally fuck on film. Her name is Damantha? No, Tamantha. I'm Tamantha. Uh, like, I guess it, no, the, the, the female version of my name would be, would it be Timberly. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Hi, Harold. You're up early. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, get an early jump on the Hold on, I have to... Finally start writing that book I'm always talking. Give me a second. Sorry. Welcome back to Dads of the Internet. I just got to turn it up. Hi, Harold. You're had up to early. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, get an early jump on the day and finally start writing that book I'm always talking about. A book? What's it about? It's called 10 Easy Steps to Having the Perfect Relationship. Already. You're writing a book I think about... we did too. Hi, Harold. You're up early. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, get an early jump on the day and finally start writing that book I'm always I'm talking about. A book? What's it about? It's called 10 Easy Steps to Having the Perfect Relationship. You're writing a book about how to have no sound, dude. Perfect relationship. <laughs> For you? Are we gonna uh, do this right now? That. Do you seriously want to do this before the kids have even left for school? Fucking hit me, Harold. Just fucking hit me, oh, okay? You don't think I won't? No, I know you won't. You know how I oh, know? Because you're they a fucking hear. pussy. Step across this line. Oh, fucking pussy. Oh, Mom, I need money fucking... for Are you and Dad fighting again? No, 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 we're, we're just- Fuck the both of you! I'm fucking sick of this shit! I'm going to Grandma's house! You stay away from that drunk whore! Tell that fucking cunt to die! <laughs> Chapter 1. Accept your spouse for all their flaws, no matter how numerous they may be. Hi, Betty, it's me, Carol. Yeah. Guess what? Harold's writing a book on how to have a successful relationship. Yeah, yeah, crazy day here. I'm thinking about writing a book too. It's called How to Be a Drunk Asshole, Lose Your Job, and Go Nowhere in Life. <laughs> Bring that ugly bitch face here so I can cut it off. I will fucking bleed you, Harold. Yeah, I will bleed you. Oh shit, if one of you fucking touches me, I'm calling social services. Dial that number, it'll be the last call you ever make. I can hate both of you. Harlot. I can I could hear Darren's party. Son of a bitch, yeah, Harold, you bought the diet eggnog again. 
<laughs> throwing the chair. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you bought the die. Like, like, you know what my favorite part of that is? That I, I, we've probably mentioned it before, but they both hate that grandma. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. She's, she's one of their moms, right? They both hate her. <laughs> Every, everyone in that family hates everyone else in the family. Yeah, that family and, uh, not doing well. We no. A, we got a flip phone in there. All right. I yeah. was really good in that sketch. You were fantastic, Bib. Yeah. Uh, someone says, was... the funniest part is there is no actual joke, just straight up domestic violence. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There really isn't, but I, I love it. It's just, yeah, it's just watching a horrible, I guess the joke is that he's writing a thing on uh, how to have a good relationship. That's the joke. <laughs> and then we just hit that punchline. We just, yeah. Then for just, a whole minute. <laughs> then like, then Sam and I will just yell at each other for a long time. All right. Oh, well, hey. God. When all else fails. Someone uh, said uh, this might be Sam's character with the biggest whoppers. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad someone noticed. Oh God. I'm really glad they called it whoppers because, you know, besides your character and that one thing, we don't really hear that enough, you know? Whoppers. I remember Sam showed up that day and he had this bra that he brought with him and, like, he was going to stuff it. And he was like, I just think this character is... <laughs> Has got, some whoppers. He's got some fat natties, you know. It was so weird because, like, the day before Wait. we shot that sketch, he kept walking around doing this. That's... We were like, what are you doing? Trevor is really bad and at telling stories. he's like, oh, you'll stories. see. Can I just say, Trevor is the worst at telling stories because he never remembers how stuff went down. Because I clearly, I clearly I remember, like... You know, it was the day before, and Trevor came up to me, and he was like, uh, hey, hey, Sam, um, can, can you do me a favor? And I was like, okay. And he he had, he had bought with his own money this bra with... With my own money, yeah. And I was See, like, I know, what if I this character was just more juggy? <laughs> And it's funny because, like, okay. whenever we played girls and, and they were like, okay, well, here's your bra. And, like, we would just, like, just jam as much toilet paper in there because we went crazy, just made them, like, crazy big. And, like, the costume makeup people would be like, oh, God, come here. And they'd have to help us and, like, pull up. That doesn't – that's not how that works. <laughs> like, no, but, like, big, big titty, you know. And yeah, it was every single day. Like, if I'm going to be a girl, I want to be a hot girl. Boobies are funny. Just Boobies are boobs. funny, I swear. You don't get it. You don't get it. Uh, should we watch another sketch? Yeah. Yeah. Watch yeah. I, I can watch one more, and then I got to go. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, let's do crap. Show Sean Wheel again. Whoa. The White Tiger King. Now it's time for Show Sean the Elegant, the White Tiger King. Show Sean the Elegant, the Elegant, the White Tiger King. And now it's time for Show Sean the Elegant, the White Tiger King. Show Sean the Elegant, the White Tiger King. Creatures of Animalia, be silent and listen. Shoshan the Elegant is about to make the day's decrees. I decree that at the end of the month there will be a grand parade, and all in my kingdom are invited, except for the brown tigers. a great parade, Shoshin. That was a great parade, <laughs> except for some disturbances caused by a few ungainly brown tigers that showed up. I hereby decree that a giant fence should be erected to keep all the brown tigers out of the White Tiger Kingdom. White Tiger Kingdom! White Tiger Kingdom! The White Tiger King. Some brown tigers shall be allowed into the kingdom to perform menial tasks. These brown tigers shall not speak, or look at, 
or think about any white tigers while they are within the walls of the White Tiger Kingdom. White Tiger Kingdom! White Tiger Kingdom! If a white tiger shall be found laying with a brown tiger, then the white tiger shall be held accountable and banished. And the brown tiger shall be liquidated. The white tiger king. Any spawn of the union of a brown tiger and a white tiger shall be found unclean. Unclean! Unclean! White Tiger Kingdom! White Tiger Kingdom! White Tiger King! Trash collecting day will be every Tuesday. Park your car on the right side of the street the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Park your car on the left side every alternating Tuesday. White Tiger Kingdom! White, White Tiger, Tiger Kingdom! Kingdom! White Tiger Kingdom! We will move across their borders and pick our teeth with their bones. We will flush them from their homes and crush them beneath our paws. We will finally be free of the filthy brown tigers once and for all. White, White tiger, tiger world! World! White, White Tiger World! World! Ah! That was the story of Shoshan the Elegant, the White Tiger King. <laughs> Shoshan went on to smite the filthy brown tigers from the face of the earth. And the people were happy once again for all time. You see, kids, fascism has its faults, and people get carried away, but at the end of the day, a totalitarian form of government works. I'm not saying what Shoshan did was right or wrong, but it worked. It just worked. <laughs> Good night, kids. <sighs> Oh man! Okay, <clears throat> amazing. <laughs> so she, 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 like, that guy was like man. crazy, right? Huh? Yeah, that, was all, that was all improv. But do you like? Uh, did, did he do his first read of it? And and it was like really low level and just not very well. And you're like, no, do it, read it this way. And and then he read it like exactly like you yeah. see it there. Yeah. Uh, that that this sketch divided chat. Some of them liked it. Some of them didn't like it. Really? Yeah. I, we, uh, there was one comment I really loved where someone said, "Yeah, but imagine being stoned and seeing this." <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah, but. Imagine but, if you uh, were stoned. Um, did, have we done commentary on that one before? I don't know. I don't think I don't so. Either. I just, uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure we've talked about this in other circumstances before, but um, when we got the notes about this that one time, or it said uh, from the, the suits or what have you, and they said, by the way, if this is a race joke, we get it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was just uh, like, so you know, you We're cool. It. Yeah, it's like I love so, like if, if this joke that is clearly only about racism is it's about really racism. A satire of like yeah. how things go. Like you yeah. know, they're like, "Hey, we get it." It was like, mm, "No, I don't think you do." No, you don't. <laughs> yes. You're saying you get it. 
You know, I can say dads on the internet all day long if I want to, but that's like the most dads thing anyone's ever said to <laughs> us. They don't really, if this is racist, we get it. You know, sure. Okay. Daddyus Maximus just gifted five subs. Oh, yeah. See that? Ooh. Um, so people keep asking who is in the suits. Well, what's funny is, and we didn't have to do it this way, but everyone voiced their the person they were in the costume of. Yeah. yeah, like we all. I recorded. ended up with a bunch of fluff in my mouth. I think I was the skunk. I think, was yeah. I the skunk? You were the skunk. I was Zach the raccoon. Was the duck. And Sam was the elephant. Right? That was a great parade, yeah. oh, Sean. I love that voice. That yeah, was a great parade, <laughs> Joe, Sean. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, someone's called Sam a smoke show in the chat. This is good, Sam buddy. Hey, you. Yeah, I saw that a couple times. I think Sam looks hot tonight. It's his camera. It's the lighting. Yeah, uh, black it's, t-shirt. It's, it's just everything. You know what he you look like today. Sam? You he look like a, you look like when a thirty-year-old punk band plays Warp Tour and like the singer's older and like looks smarter now yeah. and like you know. Yeah, I, like I look that. like a member of the Descendants. <laughs> Hey, that's better. Like, I was gonna say face to face. Descendants like are way better. See, it's like when you see Al City on tour now. <laughs> Like what was, that, was, that, what was that song? It was Fireflies. I was a lightning. It's like if I was a lightning bug and gave everybody hugs or something like that. Yeah. Is, is that one of those songs that has a whoa whoa in it? Like no. there was that like five no, year no. period where was, every fucking was, song had a whoa whoa's in it. It was like uh, what if what if postal sir what if postal service were like bigger pussies? It's like. <laughs> I'd like to give all the bugs, all the hugs. That's like the chorus of it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa Doc Paranormal, Paranormal going on. Thank you. Whoa, that was 10 subs. 10 subs. So Not when five. when do I have to Ten. when do I have to get on the Patreon uh cast? <laughs> You're on it right now. Uh, we can talk Better. about it. Not on our show that people are watching <laughs> we'll, well get do it, I have to do we'll it i just here. have to write a sexy story yeah the, right? the sexy story is get yeah that's something we gotta do we're gonna, we're gonna talk about <laughs> the other stuff and tubes figure it out thank you rock and tubes um well everyone i have to go to bed are you gonna uh, go well to not bed really gonna go party? i'm gonna i'm gonna go to a party you, darren can upstairs. you do me a favor mm -hmm. have a drink for me or you don't drink I don't. I'm drinking coffee. Yeah. Flip it, dude. Uh, drink broke, drink some coffee some right now for me. Do a popper for me. Yeah, yeah. Is the popper like that? Oh, it's the or is that it? Amyl nitrate. Amyl nitrate. Oh yeah, you, it, it is. It relaxes yeah. your. It relaxes. Your it's aim. tape head cleaner. You huff it. People over people under fifty don't know what that means. Trevor just brings it up anyway. Do you know what's it sounds like? It weird? feels good. Chat. You guys want to hear something weird? That's the one drug my mom like brags about. She's like, "I'm cool. I've done amyl nitrate before." I'm like, "Mom, that drug she's relaxes like, your butthole." Like, <laughs> I'm out of here. That's like a Good that's night. a that's a gay party drug, mom. <laughs> Bye, Darren. <laughs> oh I do God. not still drink. Yeah, I love your mom so much. You uh, should have her. You should have her on uh, Zucchini Boys sometime. You know what? You know, I just did the Northeastern. Uh, you know, I just did the New England recipes kind of thing the other night, but people loved it. So if I do it again, I should have your mom on. We'll make some stew. She made us that seafood stew that time many years ago when we were writing season two. Oh, she fuck. makes like a really good clam chowder. Does she? Like it's it's not like a creamy clam chowder. It's it's yeah. more brothy, but it's it's super good. See, that's remember, the, have we ever talked about when we went to the strip club with your mom? Yeah, we. So I'm sure we talked about that. I, I yeah. talked about Zucchini Boys once or twice. So I was talking about Twin Lobsters. <laughs> yeah, she's she was a legend, a legend at the club. She was that fantastic. Was, uh, uh, the Twin Lobsters thing. Uh, uh, a friend of mine's grandmother was in town, and they were looking for a place to eat, and they saw in the the, the no. back of the paper it was like twin lobsters for ten dollars at zachary's and so they were like yeah let's go to this restaurant called zachary's oh, no. and uh and the my friend's dad was like 
that's you guys know that's a that's a strip club and they are like oh and then my friend's grandmother was like so should we go yeah <laughs> lobster's a deal's lobster. a deal yeah lobster's like, lobster she's like i've seen a pussy before it's fine let's get that lobster <laughs> But yeah, they made a naked woman. <laughs> they made a big deal about lobster, like it was because yeah. it's it's Massachusetts and the Cape Cod yeah. and everything. So right. they're, they're like naked women might not get everybody here on its own. We got to. Yeah, but it's uh, also it was. I, 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 they I'll also made a big deal about the Wi-Fi. So that's right. They had Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, and, but it's like it was like it's a bottoms off club, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and, and people and, and people would be dancing on the tables, you know, and so you're getting some like you're getting you're, you're getting butthole table contact. You, you know? gotta worry that, about drippage. Buttholes t contacting tables. And then I just remember uh, when uh, a dancer would leave the table, there was this old woman with a Windex bottle with a cigarette and she'd come up and she'd spray the table and wipe it down afterwards so they could put lobster on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I remember that. What a, um, what a dream job, huh? <laughs> you know that she's probably a former dancer too, right? That's probably yeah. how that works. And I almost got beat up by a bunch of uh, of Navy guys. Oh yeah, that yeah, was they great. were weird, man. They were <laughs> they were strange because there was a girl who looked who like looked so young. It was yeah. fucked up. Where it was like it was like fuck this club. Why are they letting this person? This is this is weird. Like you know, like I'm sure she was of age, but she was tiny. Right. She she it, it seemed like they had her because she looked like a, a a young child. And I remember one of those navy guys was getting a lap dance, and Trevor goes, "That's a bad person." <laughs> well, I that said dude it to is them. Fucked up. You said it to them. Yeah, I was like, "You're a piece of shit." Like because I was drunk. <laughs> And it was a whole bunch of sailors in fucking sailor outfits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they were, they weren't, they were, uh, they were, yeah, they were, they weren't Navy guys. They were uh, Maritime Academy graduates. Also, yeah. they're not real sailors. Right? They're yeah, not like right? military. They were like they're in sailor school. But I was, yeah, I was, I was drunk, and I went to the guy because the, the guy was trying to take the, the 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 stripper that we thought was fucked up. He was trying to take her in the back room for like a like a dance or whatever like that. Yeah, I and so I just, I go like, I, for some reason, I, I just flipped Travis Bickle or something like that. And I was like, you're a piece of shit, dude. Like, you know, <laughs> and then Zach's like, you got to get out of here. And he like, like got me out of the thing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I have to go, to the, I'm going to go pee and I'll be right back. And then we'll do I'll, fan I'll, art. I'll read some donos before fan All right, art cool. while you're peeing. Right um, here we go. Uh, hold on and hang on. Donated $5 said, uh, you all are fucking gems. Thanks, Sam, for carrying on donos to Mars. Oh. Uh, Tazu for you donated twenty five dollars. Said also, why does the Trent Reznor sketch exist? We don't have to watch it, but like, what's the inspiration behind it? it seems kind of niche or a deep cut. Well, our show's kind of niche in a deep cut. So, why do any of our sketches exist? Yeah, <laughs> you could ask that. About any of them, yeah. Yeah. Why does, insert sketch here. Uh, yeah. Uh, blaze it like it's hot, or blaze it like it's 9-11, donated $10, said, Darren looking great as usual. If you haven't already, could you watch uh, I Teach to Whale or Homeschool? Uh, Allegra G said, hey, donated $5, said, hey guys, thanks for trying to get me laid. It was real fun hanging out with y'all. Sorry, I didn't get to meet Timmy, maybe someday. Trevor, the flagship was wonderful. Thank you, Allegra. People are paying here. money to give you positive feedback. Aww. Did uh, everyone, Bezos? Everyone did Bezos donate any money to give you positive feedback? I don't think so. No, he just called me. Uh, Bibbers two two one said, "Can you guys watch the bathroom camera?" Thanks. Twenty five dollars donation. Uh, Principal Rose donated $25 said loving the stream tonight Trevor great job last night on flagship you never miss Fresh Marth donated $1 said guess who became the ultimate doll licker but I am broke now so here's a dollar dono also Trevor you depressed the shit out of me when you said you only have a couple decades left oh well, well get over it it's kind of a weird <laughs> 
it's kind of a weird pattern because it's like like you depress him because you only have a couple decades left but like you only uh have a couple decades left because you're depressed uh so i can only i can only entertain you people so for so long you guys are gonna have to go on by yourselves at some point like that's you know prop like it's hot donated ten dollars said so happy to see y'all again but uh when the fuck did sam get middle age hot he looking good he he is looking good i've been middle age hot since i was young uh (laughs) you've had a lot of practice (laughs) i i I think i've always looked like i've been like 40 40 to 45 Uh, as soon as i hit 40 i got into black licorice I don't know why. It just happened. It's like a butt. Like, I like good and plenties. Uh, Armac the Warrior dad? donated Sorry. $35, said, I shaved my widow's peak off in high school <laughs> to see what it looked like. But the next day we started talking about recessive genes in biology, which is the only uh, conceivable way it would come up organically, and I made a fool of myself. Uh, Timmy, AJ, we, we got to do we, we got to do fan art, don't we? AJ yeah. the Fitzy donated five dollars. Said on, donating yeah. because Sam clearly buried the lead in her mom bragging about getting her ass fucked. Does that seem appropriate? What does that? Oh man. Well, that your is mom, the point of anal nitrate. Your mom's it? pretty chill. I mean, she'd I be mean, open about it, right? That's what's weird about it, it's not only the point. I think it also gets you high. I mean, you're you're huffing tape head. Uh, right. I did open that door, but uh, <laughs> I'm just saying she she says it not realizing the the connotations that it has, which is the funny thing to me. Uh, At least as far as you know, she doesn't really. Or know. maybe she's testing you to see like yeah. how accepting you are of like yeah. you know. Let's see if my son is really as cool as he says he is. Testing and the also, water. If she did, <laughs> fine. Like whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Don't I don't want to hear about it, but I don't care. Uh, Daddyus Daddyus Maximus donated fifty dollars. Said, "Hey guys, the character art for Mars is bitchin'. Uber fucking stoked to see the finished product." That in mind, I'm having a bit of marital issues. My wife won't stop or won't sleep with me unless I'm wearing the sexy fawn costume. I sent my address to WKUK Whispers. Oh, so Darren needs to send it. Darren hasn't sent that. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, we gotta get that going. It's not good. All right, we'll we'll get on that this week then. All right. Should we do some fan art? Let's do fan art. It's getting long in the tooth here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we started off hot out of the gate. Here's Drip Dingus. <laughs> oh, we got two weeks worth, so, you know, because I wasn't uh, here last week. So this is a good combination. You got a tail there and my head from the uh, Mars fan art. So that's Oh, give me good. one second. Give me one second. Sorry. Uh, Can they not right. see it yet? Or? Go for it. Yeah. Okay, we good now. Here's a drip dingus, and uh, it's my character's head from Mars, right? And then a Garfield Boinga. Nice. That's great. And Isn't Bender cool? Boinga and, and Futurama Bender. Oh, and it's Futurama because Sam. That's the only way Sam can get hard. And hey, uh, pointing, pointing to his amyl nitrate hole. <laughs> Plus, you know what? When you put my head on Zap Brannigan's body, you don't have to make up a gut because he has one. So yeah. it's good. Uh, here's a, a future reunion, as always, killing yeah. it. And here's the Trailer Boys logos. Did you guys use this, Sam, or no? Yeah, yeah. Nate, Nate threw it in. And, uh, Yo, uh, I, 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 I actually have to do more sports shit tomorrow night for football teams, <sighs> but uh, I know. But after that, I should be good to appear on Trailer Boys more often. So. Oh, yeah. Give me a second to, to plug that. Uh, Trailer mm-hmm. Boys tomorrow, 6.30 or 7, usually 6.30 uh, Pacific time. And... Uh, the theme is uh, like uh, uh, trailer announcers, like in a world, I guess is what we're calling this theme. Like fun, like trailer voiceovers. Mm-hmm. And uh, the if you want to submit a trailer, uh, go to uh, miseryloves.us. And you can, there's a form, you can sli- submit a trailer. That's how it gets on there. And yeah. And don't don't submit like 
Avengers. We've all seen the Avengers trailer. Submit they don't have fun. the inner world guy. They don't do inner world guys on new movies, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> true. You true. gotta get to the like the nineties, eighties, and nineties were like primo for that shit. Yeah. Um in I the seventies. I think this is tomorrow's yeah. gonna be a really fun one. We lost something when we lost those. I watch it. I'll be able to watch it, but I won't be able to be on it. I'll probably watch it. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, left-handed loser with a flagship logo. Ooh. I like this. It's good. Yeah, I like cool. that. Yeah, it's got, it's got this kind of, it's interesting, right? Uh, yeah, wait, wait, oh, go back it, to it. Yeah. If you turn your head, the ship looks kind of like a vagina. Like which way? Which way? Like, I've never seen one. It's, it's like a pink... Like, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> okay, so, like, so the next step, we're going to... Like, ignore the, the sail, but, like, that, like, crease. Oh, I'm there we go. How horny Sam is tonight, Chad. That is fucking yeah, hot. Just, well, I just yeah. saw Bender, so... The real horn dog up there. <laughs> Creeping so, yeah. out Whoretown. Creeping out Whoretown. Oh, man, uh, could that be Sam's Whoretown spoken word not album? creeped out. <laughs> So uh, uh, next up, we're going to go through all the, uh, uh, just because I label these alphabetically. So here's a bunch of Patreon stuff. So if you get in on the Whitest Kids Patreon, there's five levels. And so there's, uh, we got art for each level. So we're going to check it out. Here is uh, Future Reunion did one for the $1 level, Whoa. Uh, which is Trevor vaping on a $1 bill. <laughs> and if you tilt your head, the cloud looks like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I think if you print this out, that's legal tender. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, so then the next level up is five dollars a month. So if you do that, that's cool. Uh, I like I like that thing on my face. Yeah. yeah. I, like I like that like they it. put my face on the one dollar yeah. bill. I like it where they make me the equivalent of a president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, then the, the five dollar level is the next one up. Five dollars a month. Uh, Riley Gordon Lebeni made uh, this baked beans one, which is sexy as hell. I don't like this one as much as the one of me. <laughs> <laughs> we make the, the the baked beans in here look more like Trevor. Okay. Uh, and next up is the $10 a month level. Uh, Close oh. Stars made this kick-ass hippo That's drowning cool. in the river. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's but, mad, too. It's got red eyes. And it's, but it but, has an angel halo. Cause here's it's the going thing. The yeah. That, what Close Stars doesn't know, I guess this wasn't, like, enough, like... This wasn't prevalent enough in that. That's a fucking evil hippo. That hippo was yeah. into some weird shit. That hippo that is hippo definitely to going hell. to hell. Yeah. I like how they also show it rotting because it says, yeah. look at that hippo rot. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Got, it like, is you rotting. It's got like its tooth and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Uh, at the $25 level, you got Lydia Petunia. Now, this uh, level is called, uh, um, uh, God, oh, Peppermint and, and Hyphen's Love Child. So this is Peppermint and Hyphen's <laughs> oh. Love Child. Huh? by Lady Petunia. <laughs> so it's like half orc, half human. Fucking hilarious. This one's disconcerting. This one's scary. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I like it. It's good. Um, next up, we got the $100 a month level. This is the doll liquor by Woozy Face. Whoa. So it's like a weird monster Whoa. licking dolls. And are these NFTs? No, this no. is these are the banners for the different levels on Patreon. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And then there's a banner on the Patreon page. And the banner has a whole bunch of people involved and I will get Whoa. to them uh, post haste toot sweet. Uh, okay. So the banner you got uh, me is by kinky sketch. Uh, Suvlaki and grits did foot. Riley Gordelabene did hyphen. Sredlia Rivera did Bobo and Lydia Petunia did peppermint. And then everybody worked on the background as well. So that's wow. just a kick ass, you know, you can this see here awesome. Lydia like drew the stripper ghost lady that we had, you know, yeah this is awesome yeah dude i don't yeah. think i've seen that bobo before that bobo is delightful yeah uh also my daughter and i were looking at this one earlier uh i show her the ones she can look at and uh the my face is pretty funny in this because i have like baby teeth <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy how talented all these people are and yeah. then and then they're just watching our shit i know <laughs> <laughs> they gotta yeah. be like you know, I'm going to put my talent to help make these untalented motherfuckers look better. So we really appreciate everybody uh, doing, put all this work into the Patreon. The Patreon looks sick. It's going to be fun. You know, like we said, it's live now and stuff is going to start happening this week with it, with the sexy stories and figuring out the rest of it. So 
um, get in there and sub to it, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be doing stuff soon. So. Also, and that's just, uh, uh, um, big thanks to uh, Derek and Nick for helping us put this all together. Yes, Derek who, and Nick you know, have uh, put the pick the, up the, the baton art together. Elephant. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been great. I mean, this is this is fucking radical. So yeah, thanks y'all. And there's like a big spoogey thing that everybody's on. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> all right, Pickles Paints did this. Welcome to Whore Town, population one hundred thousand plus. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's like twin peaks yeah exactly oh tos hey, tos is Dude. it tos Look your head those those uh those mountains look Wait, like a no vagina. no no i don't know okay so who's <laughs> suvlaki grits suvlaki grits how, what how can you get mad at me for blurred out futurama and then we we show cartoon boobs next week i didn't like, do it mm. those aren't boobs those are mountains those are mountains sam God, they've got nipples no Sam, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so Suvlock and Grits, this is a story told in three parts. Uh, did you guys see this one? I saw this one, yeah. This oh, is my awesome. God. Okay, yeah. so, but then did you yeah, see did you see all one. parts of Trevor? Okay, so then you go this. Wait, who, is, who is with the foot? Whose foot is that? It's oh, Lilo's we don't know. foot, dude. Oh, it's Lilo's foot. Yeah, okay. Lilo's I don't I know watch the show. That's, okay, anyways. That's definitely. There's the first one. Okay, the second part, someone's Remember watching it. dry clean Amidala outfit. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Sam watching the porno. Yeah. All right. So Ted Zodiac Cruz had a lot of shit this week. I don't know. They turned in a lot of stuff. So there's uh, one. It's our season four promo turned into art. Uh, cool. There's their RC Glow, which cool. is a good design. Like uh, this is when you were going to call your show Big Titty Hot Tub Show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you with a rock and rack. I have uh, a, I have a uniboob. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. No, no cleave. One boob. I like that though. They made this wacky ass logo for me that I'll probably use. Uh, That's fun. I like that a lot. Uh, and then the flagship. They made a flagship logo, which I guess that's you on the mound. Yeah, I think it's me Timmy. above me. Or is that me? No, that's, no, Timmy, that's Trevor the... again. Oh, that's me. Like, it looks like pigtails. Yeah, it looks like pigtails and a goatee. Yeah, no, look at the me. hair. It looks the same hair as the guy as me in the chair. It's just uh, oh, is it? Okay. Uh, no, the you in the chair has darker hair. I don't know. I don't I, know. I, we'll have to okay. see what Ted Zodiac says. Saying, oh, sorry. People, people are, are saying, saying it's Timmy. Timmy. Yeah. yeah. It is? I guess. Timmy on Baked Bean Mountain. Yeah, I don't have anything to do with the flagship, but you know, you can I'll come on sometime if you want me to. Yeah, we'll see. Up those numbers. All right, uh, I had to edit this one because this would have been TOS. I had to put a little star sticker in front of it. Uh, so somebody made a very accurate uh, me as little Timmy Pigdick, and it says, welcome back to Dads on the Internet. Uh, yeah, I had to put it. That's pretty yeah. great. It was a pretty great. You can go to the Reddit and see the, or maybe it was in the Discord. Anyways, you can find the non-stickered version, and he's got a penis. So You should uh, get that as a tattoo. Dude, do it, man. I but get it like a foot big on your back, you know. I'm just talking like, to you, Timmy. It, oh, it's you. I should get it. Yeah, you should get it as a tattoo. Wouldn't that be or, weird? Because it's like me, you know. Trevor, you should get it. Yeah. I don't have I'll any. Get, tattoos. I'll get one of you. Yeah, you. This could be your first tattoo. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get tattoos. You're a coward. Okay, here's another good boinga. Uh, I just want to go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you're Jewish. <laughs> All right, Toby Lerone did this boinga, pretty great. Oh, and I didn't credit the artist. That was the wettest wizard did that art, so that fits. <laughs> Everything fits. Um, Toby Lerone did that. Uh, Zul, who did those cool CGI models of us, did one of Darren. Did we look like at this yet? It. No, we didn't look at this yet. I don't think so. Uh, did one of Sam. Dope, dope. Perfect. Dope. And then they did a second one of me, looking even more menacing. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, fan art this week. And, uh, all right. Very good. good again, should we, should I tell the, uh, magician story? <laughs> yeah, why don't we yeah. close out on the magician story? All right. All right. Set the scene. It's, uh, May, 2017, actually like four years ago to the day. Cause I think it was May 1st, 2017. I was doing a stand up gig in Rapid City, South Dakota, which is the other city besides Sioux Falls that actually has people in it and culture and stuff. And that's out West river. And um, I'm performing at uh, 
the hell was the name of that place? It was an improv. It was called something something improv. Anyway, so I'm in the uh, I'm in the green room before the show, and one of the one of the people that's like working the show comes back. He's like, "Hey, my name's Tristan, and uh, I'm a big fan of the show." He was like young kid, like 17, 18. I'm like, "Cool, man." He's like, "I'm a magician. Can I we do a card? Can I show you a quick card trick?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." So. I forget it, it all. Would be all like, the, I'd rather not. That would be like the end of the story, right there. Like, I know, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I, uh, you know what, man? Uh, like tricks, they really throw my uh, throw me off before the the gig. Um, so I pick the card, or whatever, and then uh, I can't remember what the whole trick was, but the card ends up between my hands. You know, he has me put my hands like this. The card ends up between my hands. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's. So that's fu- okay. Fun little trick. He's cool. I go and have a show. It's a good show. You know we. Uh, afterwards my friends and i had some friends some old friends live out there now and um so we're hanging out the club i put me up in a hotel on the same block and i go so we walk over to the hotel afterwards it was a nice hotel it's actually haunted by nazi ghosts you can look it up alex johnson hotel Mm -hmm. and uh anyway so we're up on the uh, rooftop and there is a rooftop bar and uh, we go to the rooftop bar and the bartender starts doing all these crazy drinks tricks with his drinks and stuff and like he takes the cups and he's like hiding ice cubes and stuff and then he ends up saying like yeah i'm a magician and stuff and i'm like that's so weird i just played a show at the club down the street and there was a magician there too i was like what are the odds in you know south dakota to meet two magicians and he goes oh was it tristan (laughs) (laughs) it's like yeah do you guys like have beef or something (laughs) he's like yeah i don't really like him i'm like wow so I'm just like, okay, so Rapid City, South Dakota has two magicians that like frequent the same block and they hate each other. <laughs> and, and they're probably like the only people who would be friends with each other. Exactly, man. Like, no one wants to be friends with a magician. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I need to get that kid's number. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys got to fucking stick together. Yeah. That's why the three of us are still friends. No one else wants this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I was just like the dueling magicians of Rapid City, South Dakota. That's funny. And the next day, I drove back East River and went through the Badlands, you know, you know, Badlands, big famous national park, whatever. I accidentally took a back road in somehow, ended up in the park for free, but I drove on a gravel road and was got out of my van to pee and was like 10 feet from a bison. And it was like, oh, I got to get back in the car. <laughs> you know, I was on some national grassland. You're supposed to like, go through a gate to get into these parks, but I just like ended up on a maintenance road. And, and this was 2017. Yeah. <laughs> South Dakota stories sound like they're from a hundred fucking years ago where it's like, we were going through the badlands. I had to get out to pee. I saw a bison. Like, wait, 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 wait. Do you live in a world where you don't have to get out of the car to pee? Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wait till I get home. I'm not peeing on the side of the street. Okay, but here, well, okay. Like a fucking bison. Well, I understand that, but in South Dakota, like literally, sometimes the bathrooms are like hundreds of. I mean, there could be a long, long time before you get to another bathroom. So yeah, I had to piss you know, outside my car. South Dakota is a two bathroom state. <laughs> About it. You know what's fucked yeah. up? And so we had a we have a like you know, a, it was one of those free government run uh, rest stops just south of Watertown on our interstate. Uh, you know, near on, on the interstate near where Watertown is. Um, you know, a lot of places, a lot of country, you know, a lot of states in the country have those, right? And um, they shut down ours a couple of years ago because they're like, well, if someone wants to stop in the bathroom around here, we want them to stop in town and spend money in our town. <laughs> it's like, fuck you guys. Seriously? Why? What are you going to buy? Well, may, no, I mean, but the thing is, it's like just anything, right? It's like, yeah. you know, if you go to a gas station, they're going to want you to buy something and use the bathroom probably, you know? So we'll lure them in with our bathroom. Uh, I know, right? I, I, I have a quick uh, uh, bison story. Yes. Uh, my dad, uh, uh, me and my brother went to my dad's high school reunion in Dallas, Texas. And there's a lot of like, you know, like, I don't know if you've been to Dallas, but there's a lot of these like, everything's like, bigger and better in Dallas type people, like some like success. And we went, one of the parties was had at this house and it was this really nice house. They had like, a full basketball court in their backyard and they had a fucking a game room like i haven't seen and not like a video game room like a game room like uh heads on the wall 
mounted heads all over the wall, wow. like stuffed heads everywhere. And one of the heads was a, a huge fucking bison head. And like me and my brother were just like, what the fuck is this? And the guy who owned the place comes in and he's like kind of telling his war stories about it. I'm like, what's the deal with this fucking bison head? That must have been crazy hunting bison. And he was like, oh, actually, my friend owns a bison farm and this one was sick. So I just went out and shot it in the head. Nice. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. I mean, you know, it's fine. It's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. This guy? Oh, yeah. He was sleeping. <laughs> Pretty oh, man, sick turns out- game room. All, all of these, yeah. they were just fucking. A lot of these are just because you can sneak into the sleeping. zoo. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 There's a guy. I hire and he goes and he traps the animals and then I go out with a fucking handgun and just pop them in the head. Wait, I'm Sam. in a helicopter. I, just, I, I hover down and I just yeah. Wait a minute, were you were you partying at Dick Cheney's house? Is that where you were? Because <laughs> yeah. that's how he shot that fucking guy. He was at one of those quail farms where the quails are just like around and you shoot them. Yeah. And then he fucking blasted that dude in the head. I, yeah, the uh, the bison situation. Yeah, I don't think you can hunt them. Uh, there's a uh, they they you know you can eat them. I, they do a stampede out here in, uh, at the big park in South Dakota where the, the the national grassland can only support a thousand, but they fuck right. So then every September they have to like round them all up and sell off everything but the last thousand of them. And uh, you can go out there and watch it, and it's really it's pretty cool to see a thousand 1300 bison running over a hill it's great it's great i was sitting next to a guy who just kept, he was from ohio and he had these binoculars and he just kept going what a sight what a sight like, over and over for like two hours that guy should be friends with trevor's friend the the guy who was how do you do that guy yeah. uh i got some more donos to read and then, and then we'll do a raid Does that yeah sound we'll good? light up yeah. uh uh i played uh Ken Lango donated $20 and said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible with really? liberty and justice for all. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Tazu for you donated $20 and said, is Timmy moving to Rhode Island? If he is, can we hang out? We can start a video game company and then get like 75 million from the state. We may or may not even need to stay open to keep the money. Wait, isn't that, that what Kurt Schilling did? I think did? Kurt Schilling did that, yeah. I that was in Rhode Island, place. wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's, yeah. It's too bad because I, I, that's actually a good video game. Anyways, <laughs> it is. Uh, and then uh, Daddyus Maximus donated another $50. Wow. You know, I, I read this thing wow. earlier. Uh, and said, also, tell Sam that the John Hamm meets Mark Ruffalo in the garden section of Lowe's looks look is fucking working <laughs> i don't even need to write stories to get the chat off all right I think my, Dude, my look is sam's a rock story off. will just be screenshots from tonight yeah uh i donated ten dollars and said you know how i know trevor didn't write the show shown sketch old guy wasn't revealed to be adolf hitler still alive and well Okay. Official Josh Woods said, Y'all should raid my buddies Record Bar Radio this evening. Don't know if you saw my other dono, lol. Yes. Well, guess what, Josh Woods? We read your other dono. We read it already. Maybe you know if we... Should, should we raid those guys? He donated to us. Yeah, sure. Let's raid them. All right, everybody. Happy one you. one year for for these guys record bar radio. What, what do we watch? We watch two sketches tonight. Two sketches. We did fan art and we talked about oh everything and nothing. We talked uh, about a lot. Yeah. Uh, check it out. We got shows almost every night of the week here at the Whitest Kids Empire. Oh, um, let me pimp Zucchini Boys real quick because I got a good one. This week on Zucchini Boys is gonna be breakfast for dinner. Ooh. Nice. And then uh, what is, this what Friday, 
the second episode of the flagship. The hits keep coming. Uh, there is no ceiling on greatness. Check Who's it out. Is Be a part of history. Oh, in, I, I, I don't know if I'll have it this ready for Wednesday. I'm going to try and get it ready. But guys, I'm, this show isn't really named yet. As, as Trevor said last night, Sam does whatever the fuck Sam does. Uh, <laughs> Did I say that? He said Trevor, Trevor does like, or T- Timmy does a cooking show and Sam does whatever the fuck Sam does. Or maybe, maybe you didn't say fuck, but you said whatever Sam does. Uh, uh, I'm going to try and get a, uh, a show together where I make music on, I write music on and I want to have Ivan on. So maybe oh, that'll, be, oh, dude, that'd be so much. Where we fun. like play around with Ableton on stream. I have to figure out how the audio would be routed, but uh, once I figure that out, it'd be pretty fun. And I can, and if you know Ableton, some people have been asking me questions about it. I can give you tips. I don't know Is it perfectly, but software? you might be able to learn it just by watching. Cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, Record Bar Radio has 21 v- viewers right now. I think this is a oh, good about uh, to get guys lit. hang out. I think that's their year anniversary. Sam Sessions, that's a good name. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Check everybody. Out. Check out the bye, Patreon, bye. the YouTubes, etc. Oh, Have a good summer. Bye. Is there a problem? Wait. Are they not on anymore? No, they're on. Are we still streaming? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're we're still on. Something went wrong. Try running that quick action again. Hi everybody. Can you try? Hi, and, can you try and set up the raid? Fuck yeah! Oh, I'm I'm logged in as myself though, not as what is. If you want to log in, I'll. Uh, oh, never mind. What's 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 happening? For some reason, whenever I, I maybe I'll try it again. Whenever I'm trying to start up the raid, it says something went wrong. Try running that quick action again later. Weird. Uh, I'm now having. Check to see if. Uh, hold on. Now I'm having trouble getting logged in. What the fuck? Welcome back to Dad's on the Internet. Uh, okay. Here we go. I'm getting logged in. You're gonna have to send me the code. Yeah, I'll text it to you. Yeah. Where would I put my phone? God damn it! Put my phone on that thing. Did I? Oh, there's my phone. Did you get a code yet? Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't send right away. I mean, I... Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching us do this. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is crazy. Let me see if this works. There it is. Record Bar Radio is the channel we're trying to raid. Eh. Now you fucked up. Who are we raiding? Still says something went wrong. Do they have something that uh, doesn't allow them to get raided or something? Maybe. You know what I mean? It's telling me the same thing. We're trying to do do this record bar radio. I feel bad. They donated so much money. Yeah, well, you know. Wine box on, we can raid him. Uh I don't know. We're not getting uh it kinda sucks, you know. What do you do? Still says it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Should we just raid somebody else? Post their link in the whore town. Okay. Could just do that. All right, wait, hold on. I'm going to try what people are telling me to do. Mm, Uh, Someone asked me to do this, and I'll do it, because uh, 
we're having that awkward Garth moment right now, so macaroni. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, I'm just doing lines. All Let right. me try this. Try this. Uh, You guys doing the chat command or trying to raid from the dashboard? Ron, uh, I've been trying to raid from the dashboard. So, Sam, what are you up to, buddy? Invalid parameters. Raid another channel. That's what it says? Yeah. Crazy. That's weird. Oh, wait, maybe I have to do brackets? Yeah, no, no. I'm doing the chat command. Oh, okay. He, he's trying it, Ron. We'll see. Do I have to do this? Macaroni. He wants oh, to wait. see me eat a bunch of licorice real fast. You cannot raid this channel. Crazy, that's, man. What, that's what it says. I just, th I just well, think we can't raid that. We just channel. can't raid them. Well, shit, man. We gotta let's raid somebody else then, or what? Uh. Yeah, I guess. I, uh, guys, you're losing viewers. Well, we're like done, so it's okay. <laughs> uh. If we weren't losing viewers right now, I'd be, I'd be, uh, uh sad. To what, what Brent's doing. Someone says raid him a okay, but... Raid sucky Ka Sally. Yeah. She's always. Uh, in here doing stuff. Kabuto the second to Sally. Uh, Kabuto Mushi. Brent's playing some some weird. Looks like okay. Japanese. Ha original. Ha NES. Han. Oh. Han. 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 Wait, is Sucky Sally on? Yeah, she's. Uh, people are saying we could raid her, and I'd, I'd be down. She's like a. She's a homie. She's always on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just. Let's raid her. Yeah. I'm gonna use the the chat. Am I gonna play new Pokemon Snap? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably make. Uh, my, I'm sure my daughter will make me buy it at some point. So. All right, everybody. I think it's really happening now. How's it look, Sam? Uh, is this? Did I misspell it? Oh, I think she can't. She doesn't have it turned on. Someone tell her to let us raid her. She's playing. Raid Cannibal Queen. Someone. Yeah, this is hard. Oh, Sucky so Sally. Just, just it, it's one of the options. Or someone. I'm. Mm. If you want to leave, leave. I, I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna. <laughs> We're gonna stay figure on this we out. Sam wants to figure to it out. Raid Sucky Sally. Okay. Cause she's just starting out streaming, and she's she's just a, she's great. She's a pip, you know. I mean that as like a nice thing, not as like the character that we turn into. Ron, can you help her uh, uh, turn on the the allow raids? What button? is she playing right now? Uh, Sims Four. Well, I I can see it. It just doesn't give a name. It says the Sims Four. I could do it. No, it still says the same thing. Yeah, but that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's crazy. What's what's she doing on her thing? Can Just playing her? Sims Four. That's what I saw. There. Like everyone's like, oh, just, 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 just 
fucking raid something. I know. <laughs> just uh, fucking just raid you know raid what? this other thing. Raid this other. You know what, folks? Hold sometimes uh, you impatient this is what asshole. You get. <laughs> when you, this is what you get when when ships DIY as hell. We also get to do all the dumb shit we do because we're doing it ourselves. So sometimes, <laughs> you know, this is what happens. And honestly, if you uh, were a way There's to so much fan pressure on me, 15, 20 oh my god, years ago, this would be the same thing only at live shows when yeah. we stand on the stage and are like, get the projector working, damn it, Derek. We already tried that. It's 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 not. Oh, on what did us. I do? Yeah, I don't know. There's it's some, that these channels TV are set up to not accept thing. raids. God damn it, Chum! God damn it! Yuck! <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about River's Edge for three hours and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. We're not. Yuck! <laughs> Timmy, talk about something while Sam struggles. He's not struggling, I he's love, trying. I love that line, uh... uh... Get your nunchucks. I know where we can get your nunchucks and your dad's uh, car keys. I know where we can get a gun. We're going to kill my brother. <laughs> Someone says, is it because these channels are not plus 18 and we are? That could be it. Oh, maybe. Oh, I feel like. All right. Uh, there was a problem. Should we just rave somebody up? A uh, lunar elephant says that's not it. I think, but there is an option that you have to select in the the settings where it it is to accept raids. Because hmm. if you don't want, wait a minute. Me I think she you. might be ready now. Okay, oh, we're rating awesome. Sexton Sally in ten seconds. Got it. We're doing it. I'm not. I'm not. Sam, I got it going on my end. It's going right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You... All right, bye, everybody. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye. Did you hit raid? Yeah. Okay, cool.